not fucking with you niggas Y'all been shaky like some strippers What's in my cup? Boy, I'm off that liquor Looking at me crazy Get you hit up with that flipper I'm not fucking with you niggas Y'all been shaky like some strippers What's in my cup? Boy, I'm off that liquor Looking at me crazy Get you hit up with that flipper I'm not fucking with you niggas Don't care if y'all fuck with me All up on the nigga pace Trying to keep up with me All in private talking down But they know what's up with me In my presence show respect Before that shit get ugly I had some pussy niggas I had to cut off What it is, what it ain't It's your boy Low Key V and it's your main man, K3. And it's me, Mocha Banks. And this is Pay the Maze. Chill. <laughs> yeah, I took it today. Yeah. Well, we get money and wash our ass, man. Yeah. Bazed. <laughs> Bazed. I'm so tired of explaining this. You talk that shit? Yeah. As y'all can see, we got a major guest in the house today major usually i big on everybody but this one i'm real excited about they know i was on they ass about this one right even though people still wasn't on time but uh <laughs> for the record they knew what time i would be here before today okay. mm -hmm. no, no 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 yes you did we <laughs> we told you to leave at a certain time i told y'all let's push it to four but we ain't gonna argue. Why we have a guest in the house? Yeah, we have the beautiful Miss Diamond Duval. We could box after this. Girl. The best in the city. Yeah, <laughs> we can box, but I'm having Miss Diamond Duval fight me. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. 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 go ahead. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be now. Get beat up. No, but as she said, we got the beautiful, talented Miss Diamond Duval, man. Make sure y'all give it up for Miss Diamond Duval. Everybody in the back, give it up for Miss Diamond Duval, too. We got a full house today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, and I also want to give a shout out to uh, to Drew, Bo Boy, them boys, um, you know what I'm saying, pulling up behind the cam, getting some behind the scenes footage. We appreciate y'all. Yes, you know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. Your man's too. Um, what's his name? AB, AB. We're gonna make sure, yeah, we're gonna make sure we put his ad in there. Y'all check him out too. So, um, yeah, man, let's jump into it. How you feeling? Good. Feeling good? Okay, Fabulous. okay. We have to have you yeah. Making money and taking baths. Straight up. Straight up. Straight like that. Straight up. Straight like that. Let them know what it is, man. Yeah. We happy to have you here, man. This is um this is in the making, you know what I'm saying? God's timing is always perfect timing because we were supposed to have you another time, but some things came in the way. And I just want to commend you on camera for like your professionalism Thank and you. like just explaining to me and talking to me and actually being like genuine about it. Thank it's so you. many people who like have stature or feel like um yeah you know they don't have to say nothing or do nothing so i appreciate right. that for real for real that Thank goes you. a long way so yeah yeah, yeah. Thank you. what <laughs> <laughs> i want to give a shout out because you y'all know yeah. we don't have I ain't gonna, yeah i ain't gonna say nothing yeah you <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are mm -hmm. but, but yeah. i always appreciate someone who comes and they're just humble and yeah. can talk to you and like approachable like you're one of the biggest guests we've had yes. like everybody knows you yes. in jacksonville out of jacksonville Correct. we know you did that cardi b video yeah. you won that challenge like i've been seeing you for a long time yeah. thank you thank you for coming you're snapping yeah most definitely so uh for the people who, i mean for the ones who may not be familiar they may be living under a rock yes. tell us what are you into <laughs> Um, I'm into acting, so I got a couple movies out. I got A Lot of Lies on Tubi. I got Truthless on Amazon Prime. Trust Nobody on Tubi, so I do my acting. So any acting gigs, hit me up. Um, also, I do music videos, so I do City Girls, um, The Twerk. I got Flewed Out. Flewed Out. Um, I also did Lil Baby. I just did they song Lil Baby and All The Ways. Mm. Hot Boy. Mm. Um, I'm pretty doing a lot of... Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I just graduated last year, medical school. Um, That's good. Right now I'm in a school, so I'm front office administrator. So I do a lot. I've been doing child care for 13 years, preschool teaching. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm everywhere, the jack of mm -hmm. all trades. I love it. <laughs> See, they try to call me a I got 
um, barbershop called Main Attraction, mm -hmm. located on Main Street. I also got a salon on the west side, One Stop Shop, and it's called the Exotic Dress Room. Period. So you real paid and baby. And then Ms. Diamond is a walking LLC herself. So sure. Yeah. <laughs> and let's not forget boxer. <laughs> 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 no, no, that's real. That's real. And I can say, like, for years, like, your name has always rung bells. I remember, yes. um, like, I'm also a licensed barber. I retired right. from doing it, but I still hold my license. And I remember, like, even in school, like, when we talk about shops, main attraction always yes. came up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's you one of them ones, for real. Yeah. So, we happy to have you here, for real, for Thank real. Thank you. Um, so, I'll go ahead and let you start with what questions you got. Well, first and foremost, like I will tell you how I came across you, and it was the City Girls twerk, twerk. song. Like, I see yeah. that you got food out, and I was like, okay, somebody from Duval yes. made it. I was just so excited. And I was the only one from Florida. Yes, yeah. and you, I mean, you was eating. I like, I would see yeah. you on Instagram doing like the scoot dance. Oh, yes. Like nobody can oh, out dance yes. you. Like <laughs> when you come, you go show up and show out. So yes. I really like that. But um, I do know that you have a background in dancing, yes. exotic dancing. So. Exactly. That was one of my questions. Like, how did you get into the dancing realm? And how did you take that and change it into where you're now a boss, an entrepreneur? You have so many different businesses. Well, I started dancing because I called the felony charge. And at the time, I was in college for child care. Mm -hmm. And when you're in the field of child care, you can't fight like those kind of felonies. Mm -hmm. So the first time I went, I think I stabbed my ex-boyfriend or something. He spit on me. Oh. And I, I stabbed him. He put me in jail. Oh. So when I fought that That's charge. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> they like that. When I fought that charge, um, as I was fighting it, I started dancing because I couldn't be in the child care field. Mm -hmm. When I beat that case, I went I stopped dancing. Mm -hmm. So I only danced for like a couple weeks. That was my first time. I stopped. And then I went back to jail. I fought like mm -hmm. five felonies out of Georgia. My mm -hmm. cousin caught some charges in my car and not being a real nigga. Mm -hmm. He didn't say that it was his and by the car being in my name. They took me mm -hmm. and I fought that case. I think in Georgia you only go to court like two times a year. Mm -hmm. So I fought it for so long and mm -hmm. been in the shower care field mm -hmm. once again. So that's when I started dancing and I just started making money. I'm like, oh, I like this. Mm -hmm. So at the time, I was still in college. I just wasn't working in child care. Mm -hmm. But the money was putting me through school. Mm -hmm. So I would be in the back, you know, studying for quizzes and tests the next day, go on the floor, make my money, mm -hmm. go back in the dressing room, study, mm -hmm. go on the floor. So I did it. Like I'm like the real diamond on Players Club. Uh -huh. I was in college really doing it. Like, I wish I could do the remake of it. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was me. Like, I put myself through college, through dancing. Mm -hmm. And then once I started making money and then I started getting known and started doing bookings, I just kept on with it. And make a long story short, I beat that case too because mm -hmm. I took it to trial. So, yeah, yeah. one day, yeah, I'm not a convicted child. felon. Mm -hmm. YNW yeah. Melanie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's kind of how I got into dancing. Mm -hmm. And then I just stuck with it once I started. You know, I stopped for a couple of years ago, back. Stopped, but I took it to another level. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that I'm a stripper. That's why I call mm -hmm. myself an anxiety dancer. Mm -hmm. I never got naked, never. Mm -hmm. Never showed nobody parts because I always felt like I got a daughter. You never know what she's going to see later. And mm -hmm. nobody never going to get the ups on her. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, just like I know how to fight, she know how to fight. <laughs> So, so, yeah. But yeah, I'm never gonna let nobody get up so my baby. So I always respected myself in the game. Yeah. And I always love to dance and I feel like why not get money doing it, you know? Mm -hmm. But respect myself in it, mm -hmm. you know. So I just love that. Like I love everything you're saying. Like you're a person because the world looks at Let's be real. Yeah. Dancers, strippers, a certain type a of way. Thing, yeah. So when you come and it's like you can name five, six businesses that you created yes. more than that, yes. you know, with mm -hmm. dancing as a platform yeah. and not disrespecting yeah. yourself. Like, I love it. It's not Very what nice. you do. It's how you do it. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So it's what you make of it. Whatever mm -hmm. you do is whatever you make of it. Mm -hmm. You got some dancers that do do the wrong yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. and. You know, they do, they love, whatever. I don't even do VIPs. You can't okay. take me to no private room. Whatever we need to do, I'll be right here mm -hmm. on this floor. So mm -hmm. I just respect myself in the game. And when you respect yourself, mm -hmm. other people respect you as a dancer. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? So if you don't respect yourself, they're not going to respect you. Exactly. So people know that, okay, you can't try her. Mm -hmm. That's one, but you ain't finna take home. Okay. You're not finna touch her. Pride, none of that. Mm -hmm. They know when you come in there, she gonna make money off of her entertainment. Mm -hmm. So I entertain and, and I you took entertain, it to another level. Baby. Yeah. You yeah. So I just took dancing to another level, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well <laughs> since we're on the topic of dancing, like, did you have practice to where you started doing the moves that you go viral for, such as 
uh, the handstand, the handstand and the scoop. <laughs> no, the <handstand. laughs> I've been doing the handstand for quite a while. But as far as the scoop, I was at Suki video and we were just turning up. And I just did it, and then the girl, I didn't even know nobody recorded it. And when I got done, we was just playing around. It was the middle of the um, video shoot. We just took a break. Mm-hmm. And I went over there. She was like, look, and she recorded it. I was like, uh-uh, send that to my phone. <laughs> and something in my head just said, oh, this going to go viral. Like, I looked at me like, mm-hmm. oh, go me. You did that. <laughs> so I'm like, go me. You did that. And, I'm, and I was in the car. My auntie passed away last year i was in the car with her and i seen the the um video and i was like i asked my mom i'm like what should i name this and we came up with the school and i was like mom how much you want to bet this gonna go viral so we both me my auntie was in the car on the way to a little cookout i'm like this gonna go viral so i kept begging suki like please can i pay you to post it but it was a video you know we got to sign a contract saying we can't release anything from the video mm-hmm. but i'm like it looked like a pool party we could just say it's a pool yeah. party and it was taking so long for her to release her video i'm like listen just let me pay you to post this because mm-hmm. i know it's gonna go viral i swear as soon as i she posted it like two minutes i seen it on shade room i'm like i told y'all mm-hmm. i was going to my body and next thing i know party. i was just mm-hmm. everywhere yeah i'm like oh yeah the school that went viral <laughs> that's real. That's yeah. real. Yeah. But it's just I just did it. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't know I could do that. But what kind of shoes do? <laughs> so like I do wanna ask like one how one. did you know how to dance before you got into the yeah. industry? I always so you just knew how to dance. dance. My mom not to dance. Uh-huh. My daughter not to dance. My grandma. Uh-huh. We all just Let's talk about the culture. Like you grow yes. up going to parties, dancing, twerking, dancing, but I'm not from Florida. Oh, where are really? you from? I'm from up north. Really? So I moved here. To Jacksonville in mm-hmm. 2007. I just came here and took over. Where are Damn. you from? I moved here from Baltimore. Wow. <laughs> that is so crazy. Now, who knew Miss Diamond Duval was from Baltimore? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was born in Hawaii. We got to drop that clip. Really? I don't think nobody knows born that. Born in Hawaii. Hawaii. I tell people all the time. I just came here and took over. What's your military kid? Military, okay. yeah. But so she, I'm sorry, you just blew my mind. I've been here so long. She's like, yeah. 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 Nah, mm-hmm. I, I remember, um, what was it, Duval Day? It was out there turning up on Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I've been turning up for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. High school, pep rallies, basketball games. Like, mm-hmm. i always been known for dancing mm-hmm. and fighting. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> Before I blew up, yeah, I was no fight first. Mm-hmm. I was on the weightlifting team at Reigns, number one in the district. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, so you yeah. went to high school here? Yeah, I graduated okay. from Reigns online. Okay. I'm a Viking at Orange. Okay, so, so we pretty much adopted you. I'm from Hill Town. Duval, 40 yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> so you from Duval. Yeah, 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 yeah I would have never guessed that. Yeah. I thought you were yeah. right. Mm-hmm. I was from the So tell us about your introduction into like music videos and stuff like that. How did I get in music videos? Like, I don't know. I had my first manager was Sydney. Her name was Sydney. She the one who gave me the name, Miss mm-hmm. Diamond Duval. But she managed male strippers. And when I started dancing, she just started, you know, when they would get booked, she would have me getting booked with mm-hmm. them. So I would be the girl act, then they would be the boys act. Mm-hmm. And then that's how I kind of started growing and growing from her. Mm-hmm. She was my first manager. Um, mm-hmm. And then from there, I just started growing. And I guess like, she made my social medias. I didn't know how to make a Facebook. I didn't know how to make an Instagram. She started all my stuff mm-hmm. from the beginning. So shout out to her. Shout out to mm-hmm. Sydney. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be Miss mm-hmm. Diamond Duval. So mm-hmm. she the one who got me out there before the manager I am now. Mm-hmm. But she's the one who started me out. And I don't know. I just took off from there. Mm-hmm. Just promoting myself, you know. That's why I always tell people that everything don't have to be about money. Like some of these celebrities who post me or I do their videos, I don't charge them. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just like, you know, certain people I don't charge because mm-hmm. I look at certain stuff as promotion. You never yeah. know how big it's going to go. You know what I'm saying? Just, just like when I go do Suki videos, mm-hmm. hey, sis, so how much you going to charge me? You know, just post me on your page because it takes one person, one view, mm-hmm. one ear. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm starting mm-hmm. my campaign in one voice and one ear. Mm-hmm. All it takes oh, is that God. one voice and that one person to see you. You don't need many people to see you. Mm-hmm. Everything don't have to be about money. Like Tokyo Jazz, everybody who posts me, hey, you don't got to pay me to do nothing for you. Just mm-hmm. Post me because once they post me, it started getting me bookings because mm-hmm. other people start seeing it. Right. Because these people have a lot of followers. Right. So people look at everything about money, but everything not about money, you got to promote yourself. Yeah. So I used to pay these people to promote me. Only thing is, when I lost my page, my book is going down. Like Instagram mm-hmm. is a big, like a big influence. Like that shit can make you or break you. Mm-hmm. I was up when I went viral on the school and then I did Suki video. Mm-hmm. And when I uploaded the video for her, I lost my page for six months. Mm-hmm. So you got to think, I was on a roll three times 
a week. Mm. Different states. I'm going plane to plane, city to city. All that. I was my bookings was up. I lost my page for six months. Mm. They wouldn't give me a Facebook. They wouldn't give me another page or nothing. Like anything mm. with Diamond Duval, they took it. Shadow man. They shadow man me. Mm. So it was like it was gone for six months. Mm. And these same people that I was doing free shit for wouldn't even mm. help me get my followers back up. Right. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, God said how he sit low. Like after six months, my manager, she got my page back. Mm -hmm. My page been up ever since, but I'm just trying to rebuild myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I just went viral for that little mm -hmm. fight thing. But mm -hmm. otherwise, and I've just been trying to brand myself, reaching out to different people that I work with. Like, hey, can you help me get, I'm trying to get back on the road. Mm -hmm. I don't like being in the clubs. I don't like being in Duval that much. I used to be out the city so much that I didn't have to be here. Mm -hmm. Because when you in the club, it's like you're around all them different spirits, them different girls. It's a lot. People got access to you. And, and it's, it's just like, yeah, like... like yeah. I'm feeling down yeah. here when I'm supposed to be up here. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm trying to get myself back out there. But when mm -hmm. they took my page, that just stressed me out. I'm so glad you mentioned what mm -hmm. you said about Duval because I wanted to ask you, you know, we all from the city or uh, whatever. You've been here long enough. Yeah. You're from the city. So we love the city, but I wanted to see how do you feel about the culture of Duval because, like, you are heavily embraced, but, of course, that comes with the haters, Yeah, too. it comes with haters. So how do you feel, like, about uh -huh. the culture of the city, like, the people, like, you know, you got yeah. the people who love you and the people, people who hate you. you. So how do you maneuver through that? Um, I just feel like when I see, like, the shade room, I see these big blogs that I have been on. But I see bigger people. You got Cardi B, you got Nick Nine, and you got people on them bashing them people, you know what I mean? And I be like, well, who am I? Like, little old me getting the same hate that they get, the love yeah. and hate, and I'm getting it too. So I had to grow into it. You know, it didn't happen overnight. I had to grow into the hate because mm -hmm. I always, like, wanted everybody to love me. I'm such a sweet person, like, mm -hmm. until you cross me. But <laughs> I'm such a sweet person. I'm like, why everybody hate me? You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm like, this is what come with the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it don't have to just be do mm -hmm. Anywhere you go, you got people that's up there like me who they get hate too. So it ain't mm -hmm. just me. This is what comes with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's other people going through way worse. That's how I always look at life. Like, if I'm mm -hmm. going through something or somebody doing something to me, I just be like, hey, it's other people going through way worse. It could be worse. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just learned to adapt to it. Like, hey, mm -hmm. the love out. Way to hate, so mm -hmm. I'm going with the love. You know I what love saying? what you're saying because you're an entertainer. Like that's yeah. another thing. I, when you get into this industry and you're putting your life on front street, you have to understand yes. that people are going to have an opinion. Yes, they will have, have to know how to block. And them. opinions mm -hmm. are free, so everybody's going to have one. If you have to pay for a motherfucking like opinion, mm -hmm. Moe's will have one. Bitch is a way to tax season. And other ones is broke. Went to tax season to pay for an opinion. To pay my dad still have one. And I like what you said. Like when you were like, okay, you just put yourself out there. Sometimes you don't charge. Like I'm just now coming up. In the Duval scene, like, and yes. a big thing about me is networking. Like, networking my dad always said, network is your network. So, I'll do something for free. I'll just show up. Show I'll up be in because a video. you don't know. Yeah. I just was in Chameleon video and I just did it because, yeah. okay, now people are going to be like, oh, that's Mocha. Yeah. And you my know, daughter so. did her first video with Chameleon. Mm -hmm. I done did on hers. But, yeah. 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 Sometimes so it's not like, like it's networking. You yeah. have to network. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, saying so yeah, and some people to. be too bougie, but you have to understand, like, you can meet the right person, and, that and you person, never know when, never know what can happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it's also like you just people think they know you off the internet, but it's yes. like they have to realize these are personas. You know Correct. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I got tapped in with you through a personal connection. You know, shout yes. out Dream, mm -hmm. and when she was telling me about you, like. Man, that's that's my bestie. She's so sweet. Yeah, I'm like, damn, I would have never thought that. Like, I didn't, I didn't have bad thoughts, but I'm just like. I see the tough exterior because yeah. you have to have tough skin. You have she to. was like, oh, she is so sweet. She had nothing but good yeah. things to say about you. So mm -hmm. I yeah, definitely understand. You have understand. to, especially with the one person that hate me and then be putting all the rumors on me. Oh, yeah. Let so me. you got to, mm -hmm. you have to have tough <laughs> skin. I'm not going to say that I have tough yeah. skin forever, but I had to over... Come her, you know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta think she's cyber bullying me for seven years. Every time a murder go on, oh Diamond Duval killed this person. Oh. Diamond Duval <laughs> killed Why that is that? And I really have like, to get into that. Why does she target you? She wanna eat me off the bone. <laughs> Okay, so she, she used to be a little. That used to be my out. friend. We used to be various. Oh, she cool. wanted to take our friendship to another level, and I didn't want that. And oh. then ever since then, she just been going live. So now she's yeah. obsessed. Now she's making it up. Now you're a killer. We know we like to clear things up. So I'm gonna just uh, we talking about Shelby. We talking about Shelby. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. G every day. Yeah. That's and like that, the fifth time, Jess. <laughs> you know, hey, my <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. And that same ass whooping that I gave that other girl, uh -huh. I gave it to Shell way worse. Oh, y'all mm. fought before. And way she, worse. I'm talking about I beat the doggies. I'm talking about 
Ain't you can't even click I at me. You, yeah, on the you, talk about you ever talk behind the internet. You were on the Sasanja show talking about like yes. the hate from your city. It's because I went to the Sasanja because show. Because of her. Yes. yes. And, and, and it's like usually I get teary eyed when I talk about mm-hmm. about it because it did. It, it, it yeah. fucked me up a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm just getting to the point where I'm able to gain the strength to talk about it because mm-hmm. you got to think. It's like even my close friends that would die, she would say I had something to do with it. And then you got these families that's grieving at first would be like, oh, she can't come to the funeral. Oh, she can't come around because she did. You got people at first, they'll actually be believing these lies about me. That's hurtful. Like, you should know me to know me better than that. I lost friendships. I lost employees when she first started doing that. Like, I lost a lot of stuff. I lost my job. She mm-hmm. called up there and said that I was a murderer. I couldn't be around the kids. I was working at a daycare. Like, so you got to think she fucked up my life a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting to that point where I'm able to gain strength for everything that she did. I finally was like, let me get a lawyer. You know, like, mm-hmm. she's that. But what do you she's still doing it to that? this day. What to do they day. gain from trying to assassinate somebody's character or bring somebody yeah, down? Like, of character. I don't know. I don't hate nobody that bad that I would just say, yeah. hey, you killed somebody or she the one who did it. And then you mm-hmm. have to be so protective. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not only me, my daughter go through it. Like, oh, y'all mm-hmm. set people up. You know what I'm saying? When you meet somebody new, oh, my fa- the family, oh, you got to be careful around her. She can't come around. She set people up. So that's something I got to live with for the rest of my life. My daughter got to live with it. Just yesterday, she made a post about my daughter. So it's like every day we going through some, something with this lady. And it's, it's aggravating. Like, it's yeah, aggravating. you're going to see her. I don't say them on homicide time, rooms in a nigga. <laughs> because they because yeah. people, they, they believe it the they post, have to investigate me oh they really be pulling up off of so she off really of her, fucking man. your life up, I like, have to get investigated to, yeah. I have to get investigated damn because she do it so much that the family start calling down there pick her up out it and then it's like these people will publicly humiliate me about it but then probably apologize to me I mean you got a couple of people that came out and was like you know we want to apologize to Diamond you know I had maybe one person apologize to me in public about it like she didn't have nothing to do with it but mm-hmm. it's other families that apologize to me in private like hey we sorry no the same way y'all publicly humiliate me apologize to me in Probably, public, yeah. you know, because that's hurtful. Yeah, this is murder. Still... This is not nothing little. Yeah. This is serious stuff. And it's kind of yeah. like once, like a uh, uh, preconceived negative connotation is attached to somebody, they keep trying to push it. Push it, yeah, yeah. That's so what's fucked like, up about yeah. it. And you're not like, lying. It has taken over. Like she's not lying because I've heard it. Like I've yeah. heard. Yeah, people say, oh, talk about it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she said people up. It is. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You got some people that say good things. You got some people that say bad things. All for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's why I was late. I had to circle the block a couple times. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just nah, for real. Like, nah, that's that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's it's something that we're learning comes with just being in this industry and yeah. being a name. People want to latch onto yes. your name, so if they feel like they're gonna get cloud any type of clout, anything, you know? they just gonna push it. And one thing I've learned is if the lie is more entertaining than the truth. People gonna right. remember it. Right. Gonna <laughs> so, remember it, yeah. yeah and just, it just really comes to being popping. Yeah. Like, if you don't it got is. no haters, you ain't popping. Pop it. Like, it it everybody is. knows you're in the city, so everybody gonna try to have a story about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? They come it up is. with stuff about us, too. They say they a lot. They think we a thruple. We are a thruple. Who pushed that? Who pushed that <laughs> 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 nah, real, Yeah, okay, um, so. Well, just real quick before we get to the shits. Um... So, for the future, like, what's some of your long-term goals that you want to accomplish? I want to open up one more business. I think I want to do a group home. Oh, that's cool. A group home or some kind of mentoring with the girls and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. With the little girls. Like, that's my dream, to do something with the girls. Like, because these young girls, you know, especially with me working in the school now, middle and high, it's like I hear so much stuff. Mm-hmm. And the kids, they, they, you know, they got attached to me. And that's just like one little girl, she was supposed to graduate. I did a speech, my first 12th grade speech. And I talked about how my mom didn't show it to my prom on my graduation and mm-hmm. how every year around prom and graduation time, I get very emotional and I get depressed. Because it wasn't like, oh, my mom wasn't capable mm-hmm. of coming. She didn't come because we just was going through something. Right. But I feel like graduations are one in a lifetime. Because especially high school, you don't know if you want to go to college after this. Yeah. So just like, you know, you, you see, I don't know if y'all seen the other when they say the whole Reigns class graduating. Yeah. But that it wasn't even 100 cool. people there. So imagine that many people that didn't come see them kids mm-hmm. graduate. Mm-hmm. That's going to mess them up in the long run. Mm-hmm. Because this birthdays come every year. It's yeah. Every year we're going to get a birthday. Mm-hmm. Even when we did, we're going to get a birthday. Mm-hmm. But graduation, you only walk across that stage one time. And that's why I tell people, y'all can say what y'all want to say about me. But mm-hmm. I done seen more than a stage with a pole on it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to play 
walk past plenty of stages, not just mm-hmm. the one with the bowl. Talk and the shit. one with the bowl <laughs> got me across some other stages. Okay. <laughs> so let's let's not talk. Let's yeah. Let's I keep it like that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying like and I and I spoke at the graduation mentioned how I still graduated top ten in my class mm-hmm. without nobody there with me. Mm-hmm. I just knew at the end of the stage my daughter was there. And I knew I was gonna get up and still go to school. Mm-hmm. Even though I was pillar to post, I ain't have a relationship with my mother. I was at people's houses, I still got up and went to school. You no, know, mm-hmm. my academics always came first. Mm-hmm. They're gonna say, Oh, she fights, she this, she that. But one thing about it, honorable student. Graduated top mm-hmm. ten in my class. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like when I went out there and talked to the kids, it was one little girl who just was crying afterwards, like, I don't want no certificate you know mm-hmm. she wanted an extra diploma mm-hmm. and she cried she was like, i just want a diploma like you and that next day i was supposed to go to um, miami for mother's day mm-hmm. and oh, some just told me just stay and help this little girl get her diploma because mm-hmm. if she crying to me that means that she really want this mm-hmm. so i stayed and i helped her and she walked friday with that diploma right. so i made sure i stayed here yeah. so i always like wanted to be you know i done been in group home before yeah, i done been in foster shit. care right. so yeah. i want to do something with little girls yeah you know? no, that's beautiful and i love, that's I love that you're doing that and saying that because like that's what i try to tell people like yeah. I'm I'm in between like they know I'm real godly but God's yeah. still working on me so it's yes. like I'm righteous right, and ratchet right. you know what I'm yeah. saying so let's go ahead and get into the shit because we know yeah. you wait, righteous wait I got one more thing uh, okay, okay. She, I'm sorry I just got to say but I got one more thing I'm so sorry because when you see okay people don't understand but I've come to know because I'm in the club industry as well I don't promote myself as a dancer because that's not the only thing I do but I'm, I've seen you in the club yeah, before so yeah when you come out and like you're this person that people see fighting or beating up people, but they don't know that those be the sweetest people in real life. The yes. people who really have some type of why about why they're doing what they're doing. Yes. So like I love what you're saying. I just had to give it to that because you know like good. a lot of people not out here like that. You will look from the outside looking in and not know yes. that you're really a caring person. You humble your energy since we've been yes. here has not been you know no right. type of off putting. And, and you're you helping some girls. people that be like. Oh, mm-hmm. how come the kids love her? She's a stripper. Mm-hmm. You know how many kids I talk. I I worked at almost all the daycares and schools mm-hmm. here. You know, so mm-hmm. I I taught preschool for thirteen years. Mm-hmm. I own my own daycare, mm-hmm. so I done taught some of these kids since they was little. I also yeah. done been on the dance teams, been mm-hmm. they coaches. So kids don't love me because I'm a stripper, so they say. Mm-hmm. Kids love me because who I am. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't. You can't just look at that. Kids love me. Energy. They love you know my energy. Mm-hmm. They love that. You know I I go down. I talk to them. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm a listening ear. That's just like when people write me and try to talk to me on Instagram, Facebook, I reply back. Mm-hmm. I'm not one of the people that think I'm just too bougie to reply back. I reply mm-hmm. back to everybody. Yeah. Anybody tell you, oh, mm-hmm. she going to respond. Yeah. I respond to people even when you try to leave me a positive comment. I mm-hmm. try to love it. Even mm-hmm. if I don't respond, just to let you know I see it. Because mm-hmm. I don't want people to ever think that I forgot where I came from. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. why kids love me. I go to the hoods and give back pencils, book bags, mm-hmm. all that. Kids remember stuff like that. Exactly. I ain't never got too big to go back to my hood to say, hey, this is why I started it. Mm-hmm. That's why people love me and can relate because I ain't never forgot. Ain't nothing changed by me but the bank account. And you're relatable. That's it. You're relatable. Yeah. Some people get so high yeah, to get so looking high at that. down at yes. you. It's like, no, you, you're a successful yeah. woman. You yeah, popped yes. your shit, but at the same time, you know And I'm right here next to you, people, exactly. giving people a chance to let them know I can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a couple uh, people you don't fuck with. You don't fuck with gay people. Cause gay boys can fight. You don't yeah. fuck with midgets. Oh, I was like, Cause midgets will beat your ass. Hold on, midgets will beat your ass. I know that. Look, I'm gonna bring up a way and shit. Gay boys, <laughs> midgets, and sweet people. Sweet people will fuck you up, man. No, yeah. I can't. You forgot one. <laughs> Which real, one? Real ugly people. Real. Oh, they gonna fuck you up. And they gonna take out some anger. They gonna beat you up. Yeah. No, that's real. Okay. So I now I want to get you done. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to get into the shits because basically, like, we know that you're a sweetheart. We know, yeah. you know, we're getting to see the real you. So we know you recently went viral. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take a sip. Take a sip. <laughs> it was just the money coming out for yeah. me. Like, you was knocking the, the, the Mario, Mario cards out of the bitch. So we just. Uh, I know that you kind of explained the situation on social media, but yeah. sometimes when you who vocalize it, it's but a little who better. Seen it, yeah. We want to know the full who just story. Feel like, oh yeah, she just no. Like we know, happened. we know they're saying you was antagonized, so we want to know like yes. what happened. Okay, so that <laughs> night it wasn't that many people in there, so you know we're just trying to make our money. I actually had my bag and was finna go to the bank to get ready to go, mm-hmm. but it was a boy sitting at the um bar and I see him get someone so I kind of went over the desk in front of him I wasn't like on him I was just like kind of in front of him mm-hmm. 
-hmm. And she came behind, like came behind me and went to saying something to him. So I'm like, okay, maybe this her people, let me move over. Cause when my people come in the club, I'm gonna do the same thing. Hey, yeah. It's my people, mm -hmm. no, yeah. So out of respect, I moved up a little bit. So as she talked to him, he took the money, threw it over her head at me. So I'm like, okay, well he trying to tip me, so let me stay right here. So he went to tip him both of us. So she's bent down. And as he tipped me, she took my money and put it in her pile. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, baby, you know, I tapped. I said, he tipping both of us. Maybe she didn't see because she not paying attention. I'm like, he tipping both of us. So she would have said, da, 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 put her hands in my face. I said, baby, listen, it's not that serious. I said, but he, t I tapped him. I said, you'll let her know that you tap, you know, tipping both of us. He was like, baby, I'm tipping both of you. I don't give a fuck. Da, 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 I just steady, just mm -hmm. riding. I'm like, listen, it's not that serious. I'm steady trying to be calm. She put her hands in my face and all that. Mind you, the week before, a bitch put the hand in my face and I beat that ass. So I don't even play about well, the putting y'all hands in your hands. Don't. But she know better anyway from bottoms up, cause I already done did it. Mm. So, oh, so this ain't your first time. So this, this, she knew you. I was she gonna knows ask you well. Oh, she, she, know, okay. like, yeah. she knows me very well. <laughs> yeah, she knows me very well. Know know once I get there, it's there, <laughs> and it's just not about being a bully. It's like I'm just not finna take so much. It's important yeah. to know that you gave her chances. Yeah, you I gave her safe yeah. chances, and I'm calling her baby, baby, like. Hey, cop, like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. I don't know what was wrong with her. Bitches who call you bae and boo will beat your ass. <laughs> I was thinking that she just finna walk off. Mm -hmm. She actually just picked up the money and did like this with the money. Like, threw the money in my face, then walked back. I was like, yeah, hold on. Oh, you just hit me in my face like, with some money. So you drunk. So What's wrong? Then <laughs> went to the stage I, on the video. That's why I said, mm -hmm. y'all can see her. She literally was finna take her, sh trying to get her shoes off. That's why I said. It was but it boots. just don't happen. It was them braids. <laughs> Is it the braids? Nah, them boots. It was just don't happen that I got my shoes off first. Uh-huh. And yeah, mm -hmm. let me go on and yeah. show you. Yeah. 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 I think you forgot who I was. She couldn't get the Mary boots off fast enough. No. She, she was uh -uh. in that video. Uh -uh. So it was my respect because it's like I I already done told you, hey, go on, da da. Mm -hmm. And you threw money in my face like you disrespected me. I ain't never been that disrespected in, in yeah. the industry, at, in yeah. the dancing industry, gentlemen's club, none of that. Mm -hmm. I done got in fights in the club, but it's been mm -hmm. a while. Like back in that bottoms up, we got an, me and her got an altercation, but I hit her one time, she fell, that was over. So but, you know um, this person. That video got over a million oh, views. I, I know her. What do you say to the people? Because we danced together and we done been cool. Mm -hmm. We was just talking earlier in the club at that. We was just laughing and kicking. So I was kind of confused. But I'm telling you about that money. These hoes were changing 2.5 seconds. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we what, know. Do you, what do you say to the people? <laughs> what do you say to people that say you should have let her get her shoes off first? Because I seen the comments because and they was like, you should. But I'm like, why don't I let you get her shoes? Ain't no rules. First of all, so you think I'm gonna let her? Disrespect me mm -hmm. a couple times, then go over there to the stage, take her shoes off. No, baby, that's mm -hmm. not no. Okay. No, no I need fighting. them people to say out this street, um, this this street stuff right here. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't come over there. You ain't about that life and you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I gotta get you for you get me. Yeah, right. Yeah, nobody get you fired yeah. on yeah. And first of all, I was supposed to if you hit somebody with some money, mm -hmm. you know what you just did. Mm -hmm. You already walked me into my yell hole like this, so you already wanted me to mm -hmm. them fighting words. Mm -hmm. You already did what you so you had to expect you knew I was coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. on the record, you know her, you got into altercations with her before. So I got my comments. First of all, they know her. If you see all the shares, mm -hmm. a lot of people got into her. She fights every day in the club. This is just oh. her character. This is what she does. That's why when she went like, Oh, I fight all the time. I don't care. All that this is what she does. You see people you seen customers sharing it, saying, oh, mm -hmm. she's a bully. She coming trying to make people tip her. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what she does. This is her character. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you was trying to go live with me, but you had people on there talking about you. Like, girl, this is what you do. You needed it. Like, mm -hmm. people yeah. was happy. I actually made more money since I beat her up than I have ever made. Mm. Like, I've been having people come up to me, oh, thank you for being her ass. Mm. Here you go. <laughs> Give me hundred dollar bills. Thank you. Mm. She needed it. Like, yeah. Like, that's what I told her. She's talking about, I don't make no money, no, baby. I've been making money off of you, off of beating your ass. Mm. I really have. Mm. And I don't care what people think. Like, this girl disrespecting me. However, you see it, whatever you want to think about it, oh, motherfucking well, you could be next. Mm. So, how does that work so, in the like, club industry? Like, because I know that happens a lot. Like, two girls will fight. And then when y'all go back to work, well, it's just like, that shit It's happen. over with. That's Ooh, all I'm saying. I fight every day, like no. Like I, it was a girl I fought that cocktails the day after I fought her that went viral. They sent it to my phone, which I had forgot I even fought that girl. But we speak and everything. I be up to. I, we speak and everything. Be up to? <laughs> we speak. We keep it moving. We That's cool, the same thing. Yeah. Well, it's over, baby. Hey, we can shake hands. I don't fought some of my friends. We just shook hands, gave friendly kiss, all that pretty face. Yeah. Like it's over with. It happened. It's over. Mm. Like ain't no sense to keep dragging it. But once you keep taking it to the internet, then I'm gonna take it to the internet because I wasn't even gonna. Posted or saying mm -hmm. nothing about it, but that next day 
it was so much. So I'm like, okay, well, let me post it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But mm-hmm. it's over with. Hey, we back at work. I still talk to you. Mm-hmm. Hey, like, it's over with. Like, I don't hold grudges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not a person that hold grudges. That's even with Shell Jimmy. If she was to actually have the heart as a woman and say, you know what? That was wrong. Me and you used to be friends because when you got shot seven times, I was at the hospital every day making sure that you could walk and talk again. Mm-hmm. Writing on a clipboard. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I was still your friend. You need your rent paid. One time you went live. She already went live on me. I gave her the money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not the type of person that hold grudges. I know mm-hmm. how to forgive people. But I'm, I might not forget, but I know how to forgive people. If you're a person that come to me and say, hey, I apologize because that's how I am. I'm a woman before anything. A woman mm-hmm. before I'm a mother. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to have a pussy to be a mother. Mm-hmm. So, I'm a woman first. So, I know how if I'm wrong to apologize. You know what I'm saying? Even if I was wrong in that situation, hey, baby, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? If you want your one, you want to do this over, we can. But I wasn't wrong. You was dead ass wrong. Yeah. You should have woke up the next morning like, you know what, Diamond, I was wrong. Mm-hmm. And still, now, if she come to me and say, Diamond, I was wrong, that like, we good. Mm-hmm. And some people, they, they be scared of what the internet, they be so caught up in this limelight, they don't know how to be a woman. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. okay to apologize. It's okay to say, hey, I fucked up. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. People don't know how to do that. A bitch mm-hmm. told me, Hey, if you pay me, I want to go live and tell people that you didn't really commit these murders. What the fuck I look like paying you? Right. I'm not paying you because then that's going to look like I did it. I'm not yeah. paying you to say I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. right but, oh, you miss me. You miss our friendship, but you steady still going on with me. Mm-hmm. You got to think this is somebody that I was with every day. This is my friend for real, and you mm-hmm. turned on me. You know what I'm saying? Now you're an enemy. Do you mm-hmm. feel like she in the city? Bad. Bad. Like, for real. I should have left. I would have known all this. You can go I would have left. I would have sat on baby face. No, I'm just sorry. <laughs> do you feel like in the city, like because of who you are, because you have these fallouts sometimes Sat and things like that, do you feel like you have to like always watch your surroundings when you're out and stuff, like by yourself? Um, No. I go everywhere slowly. And I post while I'm be, hey, I'm here, I'm there. I don't, you know what, because I'm a child of God. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I'm a child of God. I don't, I don't walk around with no fear. Now, I, I do have a pistol with me because of the shit she done put on my name. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get a gun to protect myself because I don't know who believed these rumors. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But no, I be comfortable everywhere I'm at. Like, I don't wash my back. I don't nothing. I'm not beefing with nobody. Like I said, I'm a sweet person. I don't just be out here beefing with people. I don't just be on the internet being negative, going on people's page, oh, bitch. I've never been that type of person. Mm-hmm. You got to do something to me for me to do something to you. Yeah. I'm not a negative person. Like, I'm positive as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, I done been through a lot in life. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, group homes, foster cares, stuff like that. I done been through a lot. I got a testimony, so I don't live my life like that. Yeah. And honestly, it's the thing. Like, real life and the internet is different. Different. So people will be on the internet saying, oh, Diamond, do I do this and that? But in person, you can yeah. go out and But even on the internet, I'm, I'm a sweet person. Yeah. Yeah. It's what the other people on the internet put on there. Mm-hmm. But what I put on there, I put mm-hmm. sweet stuff on my page. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I put, like, my accomplishments on there. And I don't do it to brag. It's just to show that it could be done. Because mm-hmm. everybody know when I didn't have nothing. I remember when I didn't have nothing living in Hilltop. Mm-hmm. I ain't never had no Jordans. When I went to Rains, I didn't have none of that stuff. I was wearing Walmart clothes. Mm-hmm. And you know, that's the fashion school. Mm-hmm. I I went into all that. I went in and I ain't have no money. Mm-hmm. I used to wear little buns with my real hair. Mm-hmm. You know, so I just but able to get all this stuff. Like that, I'm riding a Benz now. That struggle, that struggle, that struggle made, that struggle made me where mm-hmm. I am today. So I don't think I'm better than nobody or none of that. Like mm-hmm. never being that type of person, I'm very humble mm-hmm. because I know that this could be taken from me tomorrow. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? The so, whole time we was communicating, what I was telling you, I'm like. Yeah, bro, like, she be communicating, she mm-hmm. nice. She yeah, you kept like, saying that. You was like, she real humble. Yeah. It's not yeah. like, I'm not that type You could person. tell <laughs> first mm-hmm. quarter, like, when you writing somebody, like. Yeah, how they come off. Oh, it's one of them ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They Beyonce. <laughs> but I was like, mm-hmm. I was like. i never been that I was like, damn, she, she real cool. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I fuck with it. That's real, man. Y'all got any other questions before we that get into the show? She, she did her thing. Yeah, like, he did mm-hmm. his thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, well. Shit, before we get into we're going to get into the show, I do want to just give your flowers and tell you, if nobody told you, you uh, they're proud of you, we proud of you, you've been Thank doing you. your thing, you put on for the city, mm-hmm. I think you are amazing talent, and I want to see you keep going up and up and up, and we just appreciate you coming to sit on our couch and talk with us and give us this interview, we really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Oh, no, I do got one question. Okay. <laughs> what went through your mind? When y'all was doing the um, the fluid out shit, and that girl like lit up that cigarette. <laughs> well, she went before me. I was the last, person, yeah. the last contestant. So she went before me. So once she lit the cigarette, yeah. they automatically said she won. 
So that's So you knew what time it was. You had to you had to turn Did up. she let her say but, her with the no, booty hole? No, I never went. I never oh. got my chance. That's oh, why they I'm going over. They went off, off the rip like that. I never got my chance, so that's why it was like a big controversy mm-hmm. with Damn. me. And, you know what I'm saying? Wait, what's the cigarette thing? Did she light it with her booty hole? What? Why we no, when she got on her head, she lit the cigarette. But it's like everything she know how to do, I know how to do. Yeah. Okay. So it was like they never got gave me my chance, so it's like... I felt like it should have been a fair chance. Even if y'all would have said she won, still let me get my chance to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once they said she, once she did that, they just ran out and said she won. I never got my chance to compete. Mm-hmm. So that's why I kept saying I didn't think it was fair. Yeah, they mm-hmm. sent me, what, maybe a thousand dollars or something like that. But no, I wanted to win. Yeah. I don't want no money yeah, not to do up. no interviews. But even mm-hmm. if I did do interviews, I'm never, like I said, going to talk bad or negative mm-hmm. because that was a fun experience. Like I got to be mm-hmm. Cardi B. I got flued out. It was a very fun experience and I fought at the show. So oh, that's why y'all don't see the video. When the video first come on, when it say, "Oh, that was you." She thinks she talking to. That was you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you so, still starting in it? <laughs> yeah. No, because it's like. I was upset about me not getting my chance to go. So, you know, I'm kind so of going So now you like, any of these hoes could get it from The girl just is like, oh, bitch, take that shit back to Dubai. We don't care. You ain't get oh. your chance. No, ma'am. I'm already mad. I'm upset. And they really should have took so point because it was a cigarette. Yeah. Yeah, so it's point. like, yeah, it wasn't even weed. <laughs> it wasn't even weed. Ugh, I don't pole? even like seeing girls mm-hmm. smoke cigarettes. Where'd she even pull that before? <laughs> you know, like, I just felt like I could have my fair chance. Even when I was doing like my interviews and stuff after the show, I always said, you know, I told y'all my email on the phone. I'm not bashing y'all. I just felt like it should have been fair, which mm-hmm. I'ma still say that. It should have mm-hmm. been fair. It wasn't fair to me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I didn't get my chance to go to compete. I could dance too. I could do everything she could do. Get mm-hmm. on my head. I, I know how to do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm not taking it from her because she's really good, mm-hmm. a good dancer. She's a very sweet girl too. You know, she reached mm-hmm. out to me after the show, posted me on her page. Oh, you know, true. so even when I said I lost my page, she was trying to help me get my followers. So shout out to her. But otherwise, it just felt like it wasn't fair, but it was a very great experience. experience. Yeah. That's real. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Man, it's been a great interview portion. I, I wish we could keep it going, but y'all great know we got to get into Let's it. Let's get to the shit. Come on. Yeah, so um, first segment we're going to get into is what it is, what it ain't. So in what it is, what it ain't, I'm going to talk about like some current events that's going on, mm-hmm. and we're just going to say whether that's what it is or what it ain't. So let me go ahead and get it pulled up. Go to my handy dandy. So we're going to start off with um, Nicki Minaj. Uh, I don't know if y'all seen the news yesterday. Nicki Minaj was arrested in Amsterdam. Mm-hmm. She went live, and um, a lot of her supporters were advocating for her because she got arrested for basically having pre-rolled blunts yes. and trying to bring them through the airport. Said, she said it was a security. Yeah, yeah, of course security's supposed to take the fall. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, there was a lot of backlash because we like Amsterdam was one of the first places we was like legalized like before the United States. Oh, like, really? Illegal. Yeah, it's, like prostitution is legal over there. Like you could look at women through windows and choose who you want to sleep with. Like yeah, it's been like hey, that. Yeah, you know that. You've been. A- <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know. I didn't know. I mean, <laughs> I, I know that from um Harold and Kumar. Yeah, uh, the mm-hmm. movie. Yeah, I, when I was younger, I used to be like, damn, that's cool. So um, but they were still telling her they had to weigh it and she couldn't bring it through the airport. There is still protocols we yeah. have to take when mm-hmm. transporting it and things like right. that. So basically, they did arrest her, even though the security said it was his. She had to go down to the station. They they put her in the back of the paddy wagon, I seen slammed it. the door. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that, right. that was crazy. Yeah, Shut the see fuck that. up. <laughs> yeah, they just slammed the door on her. But um, she was released because y'all know the barbs don't play, so they yeah. was outside. They was outside. Free Nikki. And um, but she wasn't able to do her show, so she has to reschedule. So. You know, is this what it is or what it ain't? Like, was she following rules? Do y'all think she deserves special treatment because she had a show? Like, how we feeling? So, if it's like, would a regular person have been arrested for pre-roll weed? The way you're putting it is, this is legal there. So, it's what it ain't. Because, like, are y'all just doing this because she's Nicki Minaj? Because of who she is? You know? But, technically... Did they know she was Nicki Minaj at the time? I th- yeah, because they brought up her <laughs> they show had to on, know. The, on the oh, live. He was yeah. like, "We're gonna oh, get yeah, you to your show. We're gonna get you to your show." Okay. They could have let that lady go to her show. Yeah. Weed, that mm. some weed. For some weed, but I smuggled weed across 
state lines. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Man. But just because we, is, I mean, it's legal, yeah, so man, you can bring your own. Yeah, you can't do okay, that. Okay, they could have uh, rolled a ticket or something. Well, yeah, but, yeah. Thank you, right. I'm gonna say that's what it ain't too, cause right. yeah, them little pre rolls ain't worth all the money that Nicki Minaj bringing to y'all to city yeah. by to y'all, the show. Yeah. Right. So that's the that's almost seemed like they wanted to make an example out of her. That's how I felt. So it was like I don't know. Them niggas was really nice about nice about it. They was really nice. They was like they was just doing their job. And you know how y'all know how Nikki is. So she was on live like, why, 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 why being great? I'm like, <laughs> but they was. Yeah. I feel like they was real. They was nice about it. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I feel like it wasn't really no thing. It's just that she missed the show. Behind missed her show. Yeah. And her fans. But the funniest stuff. thing was like her friends on Spaces doing prayer sessions for her. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was like, Nikki is crazy. The bars don't play. The bars don't play. God, we asked you to cover Nikki right now. Cover her thoughts and how she talks. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Loser. Like, y'all not getting into heaven. Y'all idolize this lady. Y'all think she's God. <laughs> y'all ain't even making it. So, okay, wow. we all agree that that ain't. Yeah, that, that ain't. Yeah, that, okay. yeah, that okay. ain't. Okay. Well, Nikki it was out. pre-rolls. Like, it was like. It was more hilarious. Or free, That's cool. free Nikki was trending. Like, that was something. Yeah. I just feel like we should just. Does not be criminalized anywhere. Like that's just how I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's. I true. don't smoke. Still. I, I still don't smoke, but like well, yeah. I smoke sometimes. But you know, she, I never. She smoked. do shrooms. <laughs> she likes shrooms. I don't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just started taking a little drink. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's oh. good though, cause that keeps your youth in. I need yeah. to get on that. Like I've recently been having like little, what you call it, like drinking. Like it affect me. Like my stomach could be messed up the next day. All that. I'm like I'm 24 years old and I'm drinking head, three head, days a week. Knees and toes. <laughs> I can't be smoking and drinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I need to stop. I, I haven't smoked in some years, but it's reasons behind that. When I when I'm able to smoke again, but it's the stories about the edibles people be telling me. Oh yeah. Terrified. You never took an edible? Hell no. You never took a shroom. No. Oh, you gotta do a show. <laughs> a little a, diamond on the show. She said she a show model. A nigga drunk from Edward Swim. You gotta take a show. I only did shrooms one time. It's. Just- Shrooms. If you don't, if you ain't gonna like edibles, shrooms. No. Yeah. Shrooms. If you don't do any type of, I've been recently. You go to the gym. I've recently been in the gym, so that's why I'm like, okay, I need to stop doing drinking and smoking and all that. But shrooms, that's a whole different thing. Okay, so we're gonna jump into the next one. So <laughs> okay, okay. We're, gonna, we're gonna get into this. So, uh, Deandra Sanders. I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with her. We talked about her on the show before. Mm-hmm. Deion Sanders' daughter. She's currently pregnant by singer Jacquees. That is not how he sounds. That is how he says. Y'all are some haters. Oh, um, so she says her son would carry her last name instead of Jacquees because they are not married. I'm just leave it brief like that. Is that what it is or what it ain't? I mean, it's what it is because that's her choice. That nigga like, don't even use his last name. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> now, that's nasty work. Yeah, but nah. he don't use his own name. I don't know. My daughter got my last name mm-hmm. because my baby daddy was a deadbeat. Mm. That's different. Okay. That's how I but feel. But that's different. I feel like he's there and she should give him that choice. If he wants baby to have the last name, I feel you like knew. him being a father there. She, you knew y'all wasn't married when you got pregnant. Yeah, why, yeah. why, why, why to keep So if you're not right. even going to, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you knew that y'all weren't pregnant, when you, I mean, married when you got pregnant, mm-hmm. you might as well shouldn't even kept the baby then. Let's be real. There's you're been having a baby without out of marriage. There. Right. Because he got caught talking to his ex, yeah. Dreezy, and things like that. So I really and think and because like, okay, that's an even name. more reason she should have got rid of. Him. <laughs> right? Did but, I say that abort that baby bitch? I said it. You did I say said that. that. You did say that. But the Sanders name though means something, and it's a yeah, brand within and itself. That's how I feel like she's trying to do. She's trying to keep the name because her family right. name hope more weight. Yeah. But maybe she should do both of their last names. You can do that too. Yeah, you can hyphen it. Nobody yeah. knows his fucking last name. Like nobody cares. My mom, when my mom divorced my dad, she kept. Um, she hyphened his last name with her last name because yeah, she wanted her kids happy. to have yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, me personally, like, because in my situation, my child's father was there the whole way through. See? I yeah, gave her gave dad, I gave my child name. her dad's name. Mm-hmm. And that's just me. I feel like any child I have, I may just give, you know, you your dad. Are they dating? <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Yeah, yeah, and the pictures they're together. But well, okay, they're yeah, together. they're together. And she shot out. Yeah, they're together. Yeah, they're just nah, not she, married. Weird. I feel like, but I a, do believe it's the woman's choice. Like you carried that baby for ten two, months. Fuck so no. Ten months. Hell, first of all, it's no. your choice. Your dad has to not say so too. First of all, it ain't the woman's choice on a nigga it, on the baby name. Yeah, it's the woman's choice. How? Because come on, you you didn't carry the baby. If I carried the baby for two months, I can at least say I feel like the dad got to say so. Okay, raise that nigga yourself then. Right. Since you got since you got. Travis, this is why you watch when you get pregnant. <laughs> yes. I really, I mean. They say they only try to short niggas like that. That's what they say. <laughs> My baby daddy, well, he is kind of short. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't feel, the name should definitely be a two-way thing. Like and I feel like if the thing. man is around, you should That's name the baby. I don't after know. The man. My smart. child's father named my child. But I feel like if my I baby daddy was wasn't around, around this when he was wild. Yeah. But if he was around, yeah. I would have gave him yeah. that name. But I feel like it's a two way street. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He might want to. Um, because Shiloh just lost that lawsuit for like 11 mil. He had to file bankruptcy. Oh, legit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know her brother. Mm-hmm. He just lost a... He had to file bankruptcy because he, he he owed somebody 11 mil for like a fight or something. Yeah, for when he was like 15, he beat up an old nigga. Mm-hmm. 15? You think she could come back when I'm old and try to sue me? Oh, no. <laughs> no, she think about all the people I, I fought as a teenager. Oh, no, <laughs> <She's> no, no. <laughs> Y'all done scared me. Y'all don't know. I don't, I don't know, know man. Stuff. I don't know. You know, it do be a statue. Hey, don't give nobody no ideas. Who don't give statue of limitations on stuff? <laughs> but they come so Nah, <laughs> probably probably the dude you stab. He might. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, why you saying that again? The dude you stab. <laughs> That's crazy. No. <laughs> All right, and then um, lastly, we're gonna talk about. Um, so pretty much, there has been. Okay, work with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know every episode, y'all. I'm not slow. What is it? The Cannes Film Festival. You heard about it? C A N S. Oh, C A N S. Yeah, okay, Cannes, Cannes, whatever. Okay, so we all seen the viral video of Kelly rolling there and the security guard rushing her off the carpet, and she cursed him out. And then it just came out yesterday that also a Dominican artist who um, had Jesus like on oh, her. Andres. Yeah. Wait, that was the Met Gala, right? No, that was Cannes Film oh. Festival. Yeah. Okay. Um. She was also rushed too, so people were saying online basically about. There was another person too, like an Asian chick. Too. Mm-hmm. I seen the Asian yeah, chick. I don't her like name. Day security. Yeah, her name is Yuna. Y O O N A. Yuna. Yuna. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Yuna. <laughs> oh, <sorry>. uh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't like that. Yeah. No. Security was doing too much. Yeah, so I was gonna say it was please. her in particular. Ooh. That security guard, the, the mm-hmm. lady, she was doing a lot. She was like, I, I didn't like She was like rude that. and handsy mm-hmm. and shit. And, yeah. and the way she was telling me and her, we would have, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. We would have to take, because yeah. she was, yeah. yeah. So let me tell y'all. <laughs> and I don't care how famous I get. You being much. broke, you might have some. No. Let like, me tell y'all why I'm on the fence with it. Because, of course, I feel like that's not is what it ain't because you gotta watch how you talk to people mm-hmm. and, you know, I'm gonna reciprocate energy. And you know she just wasn't de-escalating yeah. the situation at all. But, I did do my research because mm-hmm. I really wanted to know why. Why? And because some people started posting, she do do it to some white people too. Mm-hmm. So what I've learned is at this film festival that you can take pictures in the front on the steps. Whoever you are sponsored by has to pay for you to get filmed there. Oh, so like models from L'Oreal. So they've had people like um, Winnie Harlow mm-hmm. and things like that that they didn't rush off. So those people like Kelly Rowland, the Dominican, they, oh, they their paid. sponsors didn't pay. Okay, that's like, why they didn't. They were just invite only. I understand. So I that don't like people who take their job too serious. So that lady's yeah, job, me. but listen, it's just like, if we make money off people booking this part to get paid, yeah, hurry your ass up. the security, that's her job. So I'm like, I had to look into it mm-hmm. because I'm like, why is this lady not being fired? For doing this to celebrities. Yeah. So mm-hmm. she's really doing her job. It's really yeah. her job. Yeah. 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 But I think she comes on a little too aggressive. Too yeah, strong. Too. Yeah. It's, it's like those Walmart like, what it ain't for me because she just. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I, I would have bought that. It's just some people that just take their job. It's what it ain't. Exactly. I just feel like mm-hmm. this job don't pay you enough. Like sometimes it's just like, okay, so what? Yeah. You know? Like, like the people in the Walmart self checkout. Sometimes just letting people go. Yeah. Even when they run out the people outside. I just made a mistake or something. I need you to be dead about this. I'm not it's not of your stuff. We was 
when we did the Thanksgiving thing. Oh, y'all was checking out. And we was checking out and self check out. They went shopping with me one time. <laughs> for, for, and for I was like, time. we can like not scan some of this. <laughs> and he was just like, oh no, you gotta scan everything. <laughs> I'm like, nah, baby. I'm a little too old to be going to chair. For <laughs> shopping at that Walmart. Hey. <laughs> but I can see it Sometimes now. Sometimes you can get away with it. Like, Mm-hmm. Them niggas supposed to be paying, babe. They still not Walmart and shit. <laughs> but yeah. it would be embarrassing you on a mud shop and still G- at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. okay. I can see Shell G. <laughs> No, right now, I can see her. Right, uh, right now, as I profile. Don't fake ass pay the baby. Okay. So lastly, we're going to go into tweet of the day. So tweet of the day is from at honey gabby underscore. So do any of y'all got fur babies, pets? Hell no. Okay. Yeah. No, thank you. No. Okay. Well, um, she Keith said. Keith is a cat guy. Black people are her babies. Yes. Yeah. He got cats. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's good. And like, like I got one of the mangy looking ones was outside. No. <laughs> Damn. Uh-uh. Damn, mom. Yeah, she the one that was like. Cat mangy. <laughs> Uh, my, my, a cat, like, yeah, I got a cat. Mangy, man. My, my cat uh, <laughs> is a tuxedo cat, so he like he got a little tuxedo on. But what was that one? How do you have a cat? Do you have rents or something? Mm, I had a, just... I got a, had a cat because um, <laughs> I was dating somebody and they wanted a cat. But well, I kept the cat because I took her. care of them. That's nasty. You know y'all be taking care of y'all, the animals that y'all be wanting and shit. I don't want no animals. Yeah, I don't, I don't like cats. I just feel like they too sly and stuff. I'm not going to nobody else for a cat anyway. I like cats because they're not like either they're more there. like teenagers. It's just disgusting. <laughs> they do stay out the way, though. Yeah, they like Dogs teenagers. Dogs kind of aggravating. They do stay out <laughs> yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this girl said, do y'all be having sex in front of y'all pets? Because personally, <laughs> I think it's weird and I have to stop all activities if they are in the room. <laughs> Me and you just had this conversation. Yeah, I fucking fight him an animal. I don't care. I had to call him because <laughs> I recently had an interaction, and I had never done that in front of a, and the dog. <laughs> I'm in there, you know. Get, let me not say too much, <laughs> but yeah. Basically, the dog started licking me. I'm like, bro, move. <laughs> <laughs> Lick this instead. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that bitch. Oh my god! <laughs> I told him I'm not gonna lie. It took at first I wasn't that big because I just felt it on my arm, and I'm like, is this a two for one? And then, <laughs> <laughs> not a two for one. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> What is it called when people fuck animals? Oh, bestiality. That's some sick oh, that's shit. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, some nah. sick shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just see the article that the grandma twins. Oh, oh yeah, I yeah. see that. Yeah. They said they, what happened was that dead man's and they credit card they used. Too. They what? They fuck each other too. Yeah, they be kissing each you other. I'm not girl? kissing my sister in the lips. You know oh, the girl went to jail for using the dead man credit card mm-hmm. after he was dead. What they said was one of the charges was animal porn. That's why they said wow. they fuck animals. I don't know. I'm not fucking in front of no animal because I don't have animals. So I just can't see. Yeah, and them dogs be barking and shit. Like I'm the scared of animals, so ain't nobody finna even have an animal in a room with us. Like, Especially if it's barking. He made me feel better yeah. about it. He and I did. Oh, that's your first time. Yeah, I don't fight in front of girls' dogs, animals. Especially, you know, the, the, the girls' dogs be overprotective and shit. They mm-hmm. be hating and shit. They be watching. You gotta, yeah. you gotta, you gotta give them a little, little more. Yeah. Because the, dog, the dogs right. be hating. They so be jealous and shit. Dog, yeah. But some yeah. dogs, they start doing it while you doing it. They yeah. Just, yeah, they gonna be humping you. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, no. I'm like, no, yeah. that ain't how you do it. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you how my mom be like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all listen. Make her bark. And the girls always be like, I've never done this in front of them. Shut up, hoes. Like, that they don't have seen Girl, so much. Please, yes. Yeah. <laughs> y'all have seen everything. The dog broke below. Yeah, nah. Yeah, because y'all be fucking in front of kids. Y'all, of course, y'all yeah. fuck in front of a dog. No, who is y'all? No, hold on, no kids. <laughs> who, who is y'all? Hell no, not in front of the kids. <laughs> nah, if the baby is like a month or two, you no. ain't getting in on the <laughs> Are you serious? That baby don't got no memories. Oh, you, that baby not see. remember. Y'all see. You can get in a little side I thing. I can't do it. I'm a feel no, you more. I was with my baby right. daddy, so my baby could be in the crib and he and pop up. Okay. No. <laughs> Look, your sister came out there like, you saying too much. <laughs> no, nah. she don't agree with this. Okay. Yeah, nah. I'm I gonna just feel if I feel like it's a kid in the room, I can't. No, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm not even gonna get turned on. They can be, when do they start I'm seeing gonna, color? <laughs> she told me when they start seeing color. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Now, I done had some shit where a little man knocking at the door, I'd be like, hold on, bro. Right, shit, you know what I'm saying? That's different. Yeah, you got I mean, kids. 
I yeah, got yeah, one. You got one. She about to be sixteen. I All our one. kids done bust in on us before. Yeah, my child bust in on me for sure. Oh no, my daughter haven't bust in on me yet. Mm. I'm talking about, yeah, I'll you gotta have a no lie. Why y'all I have it locked. The dough be locked, so order, order baby, sleep or some shit. Listen, moms no. or daughters are different. I'm so moms happy she are, never. You, moms or daughters, you find a time when your child not around for you well, to get she's, busy. She's always. I'm gonna wait till that baby doing it. Let, me, she, let she me tell you why I'm very big on, like, when I did date somebody with a child, the reason I'm, like, really big because I was traumatized when I heard my mama in middle school. Oh, I heard my grandma eat me. <laughs> Oh, oh, that would make me sick. No, that yeah. made me sick to my stomach. Yeah. I don't think I could eat, sleep, or nothing. I had nightmares. I was in the room mad as fuck. I'm in that bed. Rest in peace, Granny. I love you. <laughs> I, 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 I heard my mama go. Like, mm-hmm. Oh my God, Granny. I was like, this is so disrespectful. Like, no, you real. know I'm home. <laughs> now, I will say the times that I did, like, get it was my child's daddy. Like, we're her birth mother. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. she was like, knocked out sleep. A little baby. You get what I'm saying? Man, I'm trying to clean I would feel up. very. I would you feel that big Come on. <laughs> I hold her. Oh my god! You're crazy. Close your eyes, baby. No, I would feel very wrong if it was some. My my child don't see other men. I would feel very wrong. Oh yeah, no, that's sick. Like, no, that's sick as fuck. That's sick like, as fuck. No. All right, yeah. <laughs> we may gotta cut this out because I feel like niggas ain't keeping it one key. Okay, we may have to cut this out, but um, I definitely done had sex in front of a baby before. How it was the baby? Y'all was I don't know. I didn't know that baby. Look how Elm looking at you. That's why he don't care. <laughs> no, but if you ain't the baby's daddy. No. Oh, it, no, it, I'm not letting no it, nigga it, hit it in front of my child. And it wasn't the baby mama neither. Nah. And it I, was a random baby, like a niece. No, it was like her goddaughter or something. It wasn't her child. baby either. That's why she's disrespectful. Mm-hmm. But I was like, yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like, no, it's a baby right there. Like, I'm like, I can't. She didn't care. Mm-hmm. She's nasty. And she was like, she was like, it's a baby. She don't even know her own. Like, it's a baby. <laughs> it was a baby baby though. Like, it's it was a baby. baby. It was a baby baby. Like, baby. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. When I watch other people's kids, I'm not even trying to get free. And my whole thing is. That's and this girl was like really weird. Like either she'll have like a super high sales drive or no sales drive at all. Like it was very mm. weird. So the fact that she even went, I'm like, now is the time you want to fuck? Like in front of the baby. Well, if the she baby was in the hot chair, you just had to do it. Like it's, y'all in the kitchen and the baby in the hot chair. Nah, like what? The, the y'all could have went around the corner in a hot just... chair watching a little movie. But y'all could have okay, the baby. Yeah. Y'all could have moved the hot chair. Thank you. Was, but she was. I was. I was like, what? just sit the baby. Freaky she was ass like, oh, nigga, you're a sixty nine guard. Y'all both some freaks Freaky for that. Freaky ass nigga, you're a sixty nine guard. I couldn't even finish. Like, it was. It was just weird. I'm like. No, I mean yeah, like, it's like it's my weird. brother. Like when I was in like elementary school, like my brother used to send me on missions. Like he used to send me to go to his girl house and go knock and tell her like he wanted her, and she would be like, uh, "What your brother want?" So he's like, "I." She would always come if I go. Yeah. So then she'd go, and then I. I used to hear her in the room like, "No, where my pussy stay?" Oh. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Why are you saying that? She said, huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna say her name. Why would she say that? <laughs> Why are you putting that smile on Rara? You shout out. <laughs> and I, 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 I was a kid, so I'm like, damn, what are they doing? Like, she's always giving. That's though. her brother. Mm-hmm. Why she? We need him as a special. Oh, he get out in uh, August. Okay, because yeah. I need to ask him about this. Yeah, Did he yeah. smell sweet? Yeah, I need to know. <laughs> Nigga, like, you know, y'all niggas. Oh, can he now, still like, have y'all? Been, uh-uh. Has a friend, a family member walked in on y'all? This sister right here walked in on me and my baby daddy one time. I felt so embarrassed because oh, she was like 16. Who, Nelly? Like, yes, a teenager, <laughs> and she busting a dough. No. All I know, she all she seen was naked bodies. <laughs> anyway, but has any grown per- people walked in on y'all? Or oh no, that you real good. I yeah, gotta be better. Be, start <laughs> locking some doors. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, not doors. Mm, y'all, y'all just some freaky phones. <laughs> yeah, me too. I be, I be too scared. Normally the door been locked, but it do be like sometimes no. it be like you know just a little. Now my sister it. almost caught me on some shit when I was younger, fingering a girl. But I knew, like, when I, I heard like, when I heard her come in the house, because my sister is loud, and I heard her yeah. talking, I was like, that's my sister. So I'm like, I stopped. I'm, I got the little middle finger in there. She like, she not going to come in here. Then I heard that door. I'm like, that bitch. We just, <laughs> <laughs> what y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I felt yeah. real bad. She still wanted to get fingered. <laughs> like, she's not going to come in here. I was, had to get my sister. That, <laughs> that was a <laughs> year. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> okay. I ain't had a finger in stage. Oh, like a finger in hose. Sometimes you gotta warm it up. 
No, I'm talking about, you know, like when you're a little kid and shit, I never, I, I ain't had a finger in fades. Yeah, oh, no. My shit was all out of whack. That was, oh, no. just, that was the thing to do. That nigga looked perplexed. No, <laughs> that nigga I'm trying to think. No, the first thing I did was, I ain't, never mind. Let me yeah. tell you. I'm going to watch the part. <laughs> sex was like the first thing I did. Like, oh, you were Like just straight sex? It. Yeah, like before I even jacked off anything. No, my first sex was spent, I'm not going to say what age. Just too young. I ate some pussy. Oh. But I was, I was manipulated. That's why that nigga gonna be eating pussy for years. <laughs> 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 I was manipulated. Okay, yeah, yeah. I will say I've always been a shit because my sexual, my first sexual experience wasn't sex. I was just getting my coochie ate. I never sucked did nothing. I was just that bitch. I was like, ooh, oh, yeah. Like, that's what you think? That's I just, what you think? Yes. I had somebody who was just eating my coochie. <laughs> never. Yeah. We, yeah. Thanks, that was my first sexual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I feel like, every, like, mm-hmm. so you ain't never ate a bitch pussy and they fuck. Ain't no whole guy. Well, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go When you was young, dudes used to do that. Uh, like, no, when I was young, the bitch got like that. No, I was talking yeah. about legs. It's no dude, school. Because no. we were a boyfriend and girlfriend, and he was just like, I just want to please you. And I was like, I'm not ready for sex. I'm a Look virgin. how she talking about him. Mm-hmm. I'm a virgin. <laughs> and he just was like, okay. He just was eating. So. No, nah, but see, my shit was more so like, when it happened to me, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, really? daddy, I was nervous. So yeah. my shit was. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> was stalling. She no. Was, she didn't want to give me no head. <laughs> she ran off. But I redeemed myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, no, ain't no bitch never ran off on me for no head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she ain't that bitch. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. It's crazy. Hey, bitch, I do. <laughs> <laughs> wet mouth. Face, my, <laughs> face all wet, white shit. Bad as fuck. So you ain't even know she didn't do that until after you mm. got that on her. Yeah. Oh, that's Dang. nasty work. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but I have never, like, women who just suck dick and don't get nothing out of it, like, I just feel like you're just, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, I mean, unless it's your yeah. husband or mm. something. But if it's just a nigga, you just sucking dick and ain't getting nothing, like, what's, what's wrong with you? That's called... Yeah, pleasing. She was exactly. a pleaser. Exactly, she's a pleaser. So I, women just come oh, suck dick, don't even have sex? Yeah. That's yeah. weird. Hey, you know that, Mocha, because you are my close friends. Okay, but I would never do that. You I, ain't I, never I suck dick and not fuck? I've never done that. Never. Oh all right, girls. Not even honest. in a relationship. Sorry, I'm being honest. In a relationship, you don't no. just give head. Just, this is what I be talking oh, in about. A relationship. In a relationship, I mean, have I, yeah. I get period head. I've given like I'm like y'all. Yeah, I did that. But you. you're my no, man. No, she one of them. I know that should be yeah. aggravating. Five minutes in, I, I, I want you done? it. I want it. Let me get on. No, no you're bleeding. Yeah, no, no, actually, I'm the type where a guy will start eating and before that I even got a suck that he ready to have sex. Coochie just good. Period. My man just saying. You know what I'm saying. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> or car head. Somebody <laughs> lying. I've given car head. Like, with my boyfriend, though. Mm-hmm. We were like together, together. So. How you keep a nigga is just giving head sometimes. We don't always have Without having sex? Yeah, yeah, random head. Like, just head. head. I feel yeah. offended. Yeah. Like, why you don't want to feel inside of me? You crazy. Cause I feel like shit all the time. Yeah, 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 same old pussy I always <laughs> Can I get some head, please? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes give him some head before you leave. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 We wake up just give him some head. He ain't always gotta fuck. Sometimes I don't fuck. I just look at him. Still love y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see them gonna take your man. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. You don't do it. Somebody else gonna be doing it. Shout out to the thirty year olds and oh yeah, they pull up, eat dick up, and leave. Nothing in return. Yeah. It's called like you know. It's just a little. For your man, yeah. 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 For I, feel like, man I feel like a woman has to really like you or respect mm-hmm. you. Yeah, we ain't talking about yeah, no exactly. leaders. Yeah. You got me, my nigga. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nah. I definitely. Okay. Let's get into these topics. To the topics. I got to go into them. Okay. Um. Who want to start? You want to start? Um. Okay. So yeah, I can start because we have one of the biggest dancers in Duval. So I want to ask you: Do you feel like twerking is over sexualized? And the reason I say that is because in other cultures you have like Caribbeans who whine and stuff like that. But then here you got twerking. And then I'm gonna be honest, when I was seven to eight years old, I was winning dance contests by twerking and dropping it to a split. So, so they give me the like candy it is. It's, it's over sexualized. Okay. Mm-hmm. It is. It's just like freak me. It's over sexualized. Because mm-hmm. you know back in the day, like people said freak me wasn't how they making it. Sound. Mm-hmm. It was, you know, a college thing mm-hmm. at a picnic. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. some stuff they just over sexualized mm-hmm. to me. Like mm-hmm. it's even the kids. Like my daughter, she was on a dance team, mm-hmm. and when they do the little competition, you got the kids talking and stuff. Mm-hmm. You got some people. Say, oh, that's too grown. Mm-hmm. But it's just a dance competition. Like mm-hmm. the kids they dancing. Have like fun. I think, yeah, they just take it a little bit too far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I agree because like if you go to other countries, like let's be real, like it's a lot of places in Africa where Africa, this is their first. This is what they, do. they start shaking their behind. Yeah. Like I and, have a daughter 
when she dances, she moves her hips yeah, and, and I stuff like that. Way, you know, yeah, you move. Boom, so it's boom, like, yeah. why are people making this a problem yeah, when other cultures, the Caribbeans, they can whine. Like, it's damn near great right. sex right. writing or whatever, but people are making it like they just chastising us as black women who are yeah. dancing early. I don't so know. So let me give it to you from, like, a man's perspective. Like, we don't want... Okay, like, it's some sick individuals out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like black girls in particular are over-sexualized from a young age anyway because they are the first to get curves, yeah, curves and titties and things like that. And, you know, a lot of the time, like, sexual offenses are committed by men. So, as men, we don't want our daughters, our nieces, our little cousins, right. these weirdos looking at them in that way. Uh, so, it do feel like it's grown. It do feel like you're moving a little too fast, like, yeah. because you already got the body, and these men are already looking at you like you're grown, but you're not. Mm -hmm. So now, if you're doing it, it's almost like, I'm not trying to put the blame on the victim, but it's almost like you're causing for them to look at you even yeah. more because you're dancing and you're yeah. publicizing it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I mean, I agree with that. Yeah. But I do oh. also feel like dancing is an art form. Mm -hmm. You know, like the girls it's on the dance teams and stuff. Yeah. And I feel like it's a way you could do things. Like, you know, yeah. when they do all the, I think that's cool, but when they go to popping your ass, it's like, but you know when they used to dance like this? They used to be, dance. <laughs> I used to be popping and I used to do all the content. Like, <laughs> I can see that. So, it's a difference. I think the only difference is like culture. Like so, as somebody who come from a Caribbean background, like mm -hmm. it's a you you raise from a child to a grown up. Like and these dances is acceptable and it's okay. Just like in Spanish mm -hmm. culture, the certain dances they have or whatever. Yeah. But in America, like our culture, not really. That's not really. That's like adult. Like that's our culture, but it's for adults. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's always been something looked at as grown. So when you got little kids doing it, people gonna perceive it as grown. Cause normally, yeah, that's of our culture, but that's something that's like when we was at when we was little kids and shit. We was in school, like we used to get in trouble for the leans yeah. and shit. So that's that shit that we wasn't. It was always sexualized. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I feel yeah. like you can't really compare it to people in Caribbeans or people in Africa where they dances is more like ritualistic and they mean things, it's mm -hmm. tribal and shit like that, to where our shit really just having fun. And mm -hmm. the setting does matter. So like yeah. at a dance competition, mm -hmm. it's appropriate because it's right dance and twerking is it. the same shit. Because in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. you can yeah. go to the club and somebody could dance with your man and they could slow right. and all different. that. But that happened here, you don't want to fight that. But home. I think we're ignoring the fact that twerking is black culture. Like it I is. get what you're saying, but twerking it's is black, black culture. culture. Like I learned how to shake my ass at six years old yeah but I, okay but listen it. though but listen though so yeah you learned that at six years old but is that the majority or is that just your situation because I, every black ma majority party, of people gonna be like a six-year-old ain't got no business shaking, shaking her ass. Ass. in america that's what it'd be people but every say. little kid's party the kids was doing the same thing like what the, was it I Sierra? That was, like, at, my, at my family party parties yeah. Yeah. little, little girls, girls went yeah, we nah. was like i like the way you ride nah yeah your family Police! We go to this, and my family, so like you said, the setting. Mm -hmm. If it's just the family, we do it. Oh, yeah. But if we out, of course, I'm, I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, no. Right. Yeah. But if it's a dance competition, I'm get your ass out there. Yeah. You said it yeah. perfectly. So he said it right. Like it's the setting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's the setting. Because of course, I'm not gonna have my child here, yeah, here. here in front of y'all. Yeah. But if this is what in front of no man, like yeah, we yeah. can. Because my grandma didn't let us sit in the man lap. Yeah. But sometimes these conversations are important because. Sometimes you grow up, like, I didn't know fighting with your siblings, like, fist fighting with your siblings was uncommon to some people. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'd be talking to people, I'd be like, yeah, me and my sister <laughs> fought. And they'd be like, y'all be fighting? My mama don't play that way. I'd be like, you never fought mm -hmm. your siblings? I just and fought then, my siblings just, like, you know, <laughs> oh, at this fight. age. Yeah, yeah I still fight them. But when yeah. we was little, you no. Know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I just fought. But sometimes talking to people, it made me so, like, okay, how I grew up, that's not how everybody grew up. So yeah. sometimes you be thinking something so right. And then you experience right. somebody else, and you be like, mm, "Okay, yeah. maybe, maybe." But who don't get into with their siblings? That's right. Some people, that, yeah. Some people, I definitely some fight square people, or some people, parents don't play that shit. Yeah. That's like, how that's siblings learn like, how to like, fight. Like, from like fist yeah. fighting and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because no, you know, oh. you got some people. I fought my brothers. That's how I don't fight. Yeah. I think I really. I was World War Three in our house. Yeah. yeah. That's how my sister know how to fight. Yeah. My mama let us go to the backyard. Okay, y'all want to keep fighting? Come on, mm. back here. She'll oh, make we us ain't even make and it. And what the bed? We used to be. <laughs> I mean, like we bust each other's lips, black mm. eyes. Oh, like, it's like, normal. 
Yeah, we used to knock down the um, shower curtain falling in the tub. Yeah. But and then we'll go outside and beat somebody else together. Every sister, every sister, every other day, I was sister. getting chased around the house with knives. Yeah. Yeah, all type of shit. But I think the reason I wanted to highlight this conversation is because nowadays we have everybody dancing on social media, twerking on social media, mm-hmm. and you have men devaluing that. Like, especially when it comes to our culture, like, oh, women who do this, I could never wife a girl that twerk on social media, all mm-hmm. it is. But it's like in other cultures, this is just what they do, and y'all are demonizing us for it. Like, like let's be real. Wait, no, no, no. I, I mean, I, I'm list. I, I listen to yeah, y'all. Okay, okay. You're a man that tells me what you would yeah, prefer. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and you're not the only one. Yeah. A lot of men are saying that. I think we need to highlight that first of all, twerking is a a spiritual form of movement too. It, yeah. like, no, it heals trauma. <laughs> Let me finish. Let me finish because the act of dancing, it's literally scientifically proven that it releases certain dopamine and endorphins or whatever the case may be. It heals trauma. It releases certain I don't know, types of energy. It heals me when it I'm stressed. Heals. I dance. How do you feel when you dance? When I, yeah, dancing just releases a lot of stuff. Anger. Yeah. I'm I mean, always smiling yeah, when I'm well, shaking like, my I'm dancing. Physical activity going to do that regardless of what you're doing. But, Especially when it's money but coming in with dancing, dancing, you having fun and yeah. it's all that. But we, no, twerking is not a spiritual art form of dancing. It is. No, it's not. I feel like for me, it's very healing. For me, it, like when I start dancing, the it's, whole it's room starts. Ah, everybody happy. It's a healing beard. for me. <laughs> if you ain't had no ass, niggas be like, "What is so she let doing?" Me, let me let me let me say it from this standpoint because I know what you getting at as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, like because me and her, we just had a conversation, <laughs> and I always say. um like every man is different i always say like me and her had a conversation i said personally i'm not taking a woman serious or i'm not gonna date a woman who like always twerks online Mm -hmm. but i always put the blame on myself it's my own insecurities yes Mm -hmm. so if i know that i have insecurities there and i don't like other men seeing my woman like that or having access to her that's something i can't handle that's Mm -hmm. not me devaluing them that's not me saying like Mm -hmm. now i think it's different when these men go online and be like oh they hoes they this they that Mm -hmm. that's just me i'm I'm secure enough to say i'm insecure in that area and Mm -hmm. i can't you got some men who say they wouldn't date dancers you got some people that wife is in the club and that's That's what i told you yeah my boyfriend comes to the club with me and Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you got some people that respect it you got some people it's just certain men what they like exactly it's like we got what we like and mm-hmm. that's not me talking down on anybody and like I tell you there's a man for everything because like she yeah. just said remember I be telling when you be like oh like I wonder how men gonna view me and stuff and I'm like trust me it's plenty men who mm-hmm. wife it's men who wife up tricks like yeah, so, mm-hmm. it, it don't yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's somebody for everybody but that's me personally so that's never me talking down on dancers I love dancers I always say I feel like stripping is an art form because mm-hmm. pole dancing takes a lot of it body does. Make, lot you know of what I'm saying and things like that but it's also like, I mean, would you want a nigga who you sometimes you gotta put a shoe on the other foot? Like, you know how you are. You know, if you I was in the club you. jerking, bitches would be judging me. No. <laughs> so, no, no, no like no. that big black nigga? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> or what if a nigga what if a nigga go online every day and do them stupid ass thirst traps with his print showing? Would you want that to be your nigga? And bitches in the comments all the time, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, the TikTok niggas and shit. A uh, nigga want to go on there and make his dick bounce. It just bounce, gives like, You want to fight on one I'm glad we have you here because we have talked about it with Tokyo a little bit. But what I'm saying is like in this day and age, you see so many men bashing certain things like they girls that what we do. Mm-hmm. So like even you saying like there's just certain people for everybody. Like I was talking to him. I'm going to let y'all in on the conversation. It was just more like I was telling him like, damn. I'm really on a podcast now where people got to tune in and watch me sitting next to two niggas all the time. Yeah. They see me and like, I'm not like a out club dancer. I'm not no, people don't know me in the city as no stripper. Yeah. But if you know me, then you know that I've been in clubs yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So it's sometimes. just like, okay, how are men? I, I was like, damn, am I, am I ever going to like, you know what I'm saying? Get a man, whatever, be living in this lifestyle. And like you just yes. saying, like there are what women out there say. that do this, you know what I'm saying? I always and it's say, not I'd be like, get off that. I'd be like, you don't know how many niggas ready to watch you. Got you tomorrow, be like, yeah. oh, I ain't never talked. You the first dancer I ever talked to. Mm-hmm. I change people's lives. I'm like Obama. I make a change. How do you feel dating as a dancer? Like, what do you good? Feel? Good. <laughs> good. He gonna come in there. He gonna throw me a little money. He's gonna sit your ass down. I make right. the money and bring it home. And the conversation it ain't came like I'm about. leaving with nobody. Mm-hmm. I'm going home to you, and I'm Here bringing the money to you. Mm-hmm. Hey, and we finna go home and count this money together. Yeah, my niggas help me count my money. Period. And that's how I always been. I've always yeah. been in relationships so, in the club, but then listening to them, I'm like, no, 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 no. The conversation. I was a rapper who was like, 
hey baby, I ain't with that. Yeah. So you know I done had to step yeah. away for And that's what I say too, like. But then when he went to jail, it's like, oh, I had to go back. You want me to hold you down and do all this? Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's like he always had something to say about it. But at first, before he went to jail, he was like, oh, I can't date no damn so we could just be friends. But then when you went to jail, now you want me to be your girlfriend because, you know, I'm going to mm-hmm. make that money and I'll hold you down. But that wasn't fair to me because when you was out, it's like, oh, we can never be together because you're a dancer. Right. But you got some people that you, I, I, got, I done had relationships where I felt like some people, they weren't ready for it because I made more money than them. Mm-hmm. So you got men like that, too, who the women, the women can also be the head. The men mm-hmm. don't have to be the head. Mm-hmm. You got some women that make more money than men. Mm-hmm. And there's some men who can't take that. I done been in a relationship like that where the men couldn't take me making more money than him. He mm-hmm. left. Like, he felt like he wasn't for me because he didn't have enough money for me. Mm-hmm. But I don't date people off for their pockets. I date That's people so off their heart. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, but I do have relationships where people is intimidated by me making mm-hmm. more money. Than I me. love that you said it because I really think sometimes men project it as, you know, especially nowadays, we don't want no sexy red ass bitch, no outside mm-hmm. asshole. You always at the club, you always dancing. But I really think what it is is when they find dancers, it's because you can't do what that girl does. Like, it, it, but see, I don't be offended mean, you know, too. I don't dance like that. I dance every blue moon. <laughs> I'm being real. No, I'm being I dance dance. every blue moon, and I'm a, I'm a house person. Yeah. I'm but that's such house. a double but standard like because blue. y'all be online all day talking about you don't want no nigga who always in bitches' face. You don't want no nigga who outside. You don't, no, don't want no nigga who likes bitches' pictures. Yeah, I don't want no nigga. I don't want no nigga who. It's like y'all got all these requirements. But I think, but let's keep it one No, no, no. Let me say this though. When this is what I'm saying, like. When it comes to those type of men, I think what it really is, is damn, this girl can't... If I was a man, I would be offended. You can go shake your ass and not even have to have sex and come home with $1,500, $2,000, yeah. $2,500, and I got to go clock in. It's never about the money. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's that's never about the money. It's I'm never saying. about the money. I just want to... Sorry, sorry. I just want to, like, put us back to reality real quick, right? Because <laughs> it's never... It, like, niggas don't dislike fucking with dancers yes. because... The money y'all make, unless you trying to throw in my face the money you made, then it's like, bitch, you shake your ass, like, yeah, like, and you should have more money than me, like, you know what I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. it's and that the type, lifestyle, and that mm-hmm. type of situation, it's the mm-hmm. lifestyle, it's the fact that any nigga can walk into this and place see and my, see my yeah. girl, yeah, ass. yeah, I ain't saying it's it about, just about the money, about that, that was my perspective, I'm just saying, yeah, I, yeah. I understand that, that's the main, that's the main thing, we, I was niggas, they got niggas, I'm very territorial, like, I feel like you mine, I'm not saying I own you, but. I kind of own it. And because, yeah, and like. because you, you in here selling the fantasy, so it's you like just gotta everything have a about this shit. Strong mind sexy. dealing with a dancer. Yeah. Like, you gotta be. Yeah. And be I always say, if you a nigga, like, don't, like, how you said you was dealing with somebody, he tell you, ah, bro. Get that girl out the club, then. Like, yeah, that's you know, how I feel. If you feel like you're mm, here, take yeah. me. Yeah, like I always tell you, I never <laughs> said. Like we talked last time, I said I never say oh, I won't fuck with nobody who has danced. Yeah, I can't do it now. Like the conversation literally came up because you know if somebody I was talking to, and mm-hmm. I was like, I couldn't mm-hmm. take her serious because right. every time I turned around, she was shaking, shaking her ass, ass online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, it I'd rather like, you be a, a dancer than be just twerking online. Just, I was gonna free. say that. Yeah. yeah, you got people yeah. that's not dancers who do. Waste more stuff than me, and I'm an answer like they yeah, upload nah, all kinds yeah, of yeah, this, inappropriate this stuff. I don't do <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. and them yeah. only fans. I don't girls just go online and dance. I dance like put a promotion video, hey, meet me at the club. Mm. But I just don't be online dancing. Listen, one but day I agree. Day. I was dancing about a month ago, and I'm in the club, and I'm dancing. With and it was a, on, yeah, it like, was like, a, like dance clothes are like a bathing suit, especially yeah, in Duval. Let me educate y'all. In Duval, it is illegal to show your titties and your coochie. Nothing. We don't. We don't get naked here. So that's another thing y'all need to know. So it's like I'm dancing in a bathing suit but I seen the way that this group of white men it was like six or seven of them they were just fiending over me like oh my god look at that it just made me feel like yeah I can't have no I wouldn't even respect the man doing this because like look how they're fiending over me and like I'm thinking about what if I had to go home to a man like these niggas was just it's male dance. I have a lot of male dancer friends yeah what's the money like they make, <laughs> the male dancers, they make they money. money I'm finna be an advocate they like big <laughs> <laughs> they make money. How you, how you think they girls feel? They got girlfriends. Yeah. yeah. And them girls be all over them. They got to take their thing out, though. Mm-hmm. You know, and you actually see it. They ain't seeing our coochie. Nah, I be real mad. You got to see their thing. Thought, I thought you can wear, like, the little the But little they shit. take it down. Because right. I go to them all the time, male views. And yeah. they have the thing, but they take the and thing off. some old get freaky. Uh, they be old freaky auntie. Because why there. I never been to this? <laughs> yeah, I need to go to this. Uh, they have so I be yeah. them. Hey, after the... After I love male views. They be some old freaky auntie. 
Pisces and after the camera. So it's the same with them. How you think they girls feel? Yeah. yeah, it's one of them things. Like like I said, it's just certain bitches people. like seventeen strippers. So go get you another nigga, man. Seventeen <laughs> nigga strippers out here. <laughs> Listen, I don't chick shame. I got homegirls who chick. I don't stripper shame. I don't. Yeah. Whatever you doing to get your money, bro, get your bag. Mm-hmm. I just be saying what's for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know I'm in the logistics truck drivers. There's some girls that be like, I ain't did no fucking truck driver. That, them niggas hoes. I ain't yeah. gonna be like, damn, that's for. I just be mm-hmm. like, all right, I ain't for you. Right. Boom. I like. Well, I said, it's somebody yeah. for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. And but, then sometimes you can change people too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just had to touch on it because y'all know I love twerking, it makes me happy. It just made it, the energy just be good. Mm-hmm. So I just had to talk about how you know this is a cultural form. Black people just sometimes shake and ass. And the niggas that I talk to be my fans, so they be like, "Go ahead, baby." Yeah, shake go ahead. ahead. I'm about to say, you they got, already know you I'm my man. They be like, "Get it, baby." Right. Go ahead. They record you for the twerk contest. Yeah. My man just called me mm-hmm. and they like, "Baby, damn, why you gotta be in my hand? It's a twerk contest for thousand dollars. I love it. Eat these hoes up. Yeah. I love them. They be my fans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> glad, you, glad you tread lightly this time. <laughs> That was on his ass the other episode. That damn thing. He hates strippers. And that's not even true. He hates strippers. No. Well, I'm not a stripper. I'm an entertainer, so I don't know. No, most definitely. I love strippers. I just be And we love ones with. So, what what do he. What was they getting on about? So I could see if I need to get on his ass too. It was just him saying. They got on me because of Mocha, really. Yeah. But tell her why, Mocha. What happened? He said he was just like I would never take a dancer serious or whatever, but you know I would fuck with him, fuck him, but he never take, take one serious, just because she works in a strip club. That's not what so I that said. that's not. No. So what was it? That's not. <laughs> I said that if you was a dancer, I wouldn't take. If, if, when I'm first meeting you, of course I'm not taking you serious. I'm trying to fuck most of the time, majority. But if I met you outside the club mm-hmm. or whatever and then I knew more things about you or whatever that might sway how I think about you right. but if I'm just meeting you inside the club there's no way nothing that's in college and all you gotta yeah. think I just graduated middle but school but you also yeah. we also you also gotta have club. a plan of transition yeah mm-hmm. it's just some people that's in there who got mm-hmm. bigger stuff like my god mom is a millionaire right now she was a dance mm-hmm. first mm-hmm. she's a millionaire she owns all these schools all these daycares all that like mm-hmm. so that's what she tell people all the time bitch I was a stripper before yeah. this mm-hmm. and now I'm a millionaire so it just be like certain yeah. people just yeah. and, and everybody has a preference. So I got a preference. Yeah, that's just his preference. Yeah. But guess what? Some people do come to the club. Like my man, my boyfriend, he honestly at first was just like, I just thought you was gonna be somebody I was just gonna fuck because mm-hmm. I was a dancer. But yeah. then he realized, okay, this girl got her shit together. Mm-hmm. Big house, big like she mm-hmm. doing shit. She in school. I was in college, all day about to graduate. So he like, okay, yeah. So mm-hmm. it made him like me more. And he didn't just look at me as Thank a dancer. You. So yeah. he right. He probably at she first when I said dancer. The dance, good parts of the conversation, like when, when I, I said, say, when I, I say, I say, say be his first train of thought. What did I say? Like, yeah. I just want to fuck her. If I see, if I meet and first time, we going on dates and he meet me. First time I meet you. That's just like the rapper who I talked right. about at first. Mm-hmm. It was just like, oh, I can't be no dancer, but then my vibe, I'm mm-hmm. doing all the shit. We go, I'm going to see him. He like, damn, mm-hmm. you. I say, I'll never like, say I never. Because yeah. I can meet, You'll never know I can meet a stripper do. tomorrow and she could be on her seat. And, and people be like, oh, yeah, you the first dancer I ever. Hey, baby, I'm one of the ones that. Yeah. I just like to advocate for twerking and dancing just because I see so much of the bashing. It be so much passion in Like, you got the sexy I've been starting to know they want to see a nigga dance. Yeah, like what you want to see, nigga? Because yeah, y'all, y'all are like, it's giving. Good. You know, we got a lot of sassy <laughs> and undercover. Yeah, what, so I I say is, <laughs> what I will say is, what I will say is, I do like. Like women like y'all who you know can say yeah we've danced and we still dance from time to time but y'all are setting examples for girls who are in the club to go do other things. Other things. Like, exactly. I remember when I first met you, like I was just told like oh yeah Mocha coming to be on the show. She's a dancer. So I was expecting like, oh, this is going to be real shout out and things like that. And then the way you articulated yourself and then you mm-hmm. had a nonprofit organization, mm-hmm. you was advocating for police and just like injustice mm-hmm. in the um, judicial system and things like that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, like I literally prejudged you. Yeah. I thought See? we was going to be twerk, twerk. Turk that See, ass. See, you know, that. But yeah. I get that all the time. You get that yeah. a lot. Exactly. And then That's somebody why I love like you. you here. Right. Like, yeah. You got so much going That's on. So get. much going for mm-hmm. yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just so, it's just like drug dealing. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. how you be saying like I was in the streets. But mm-hmm. look how you made a way out. Like mm-hmm. these are the struggle builds people. So these are the foundations right. to, you know, I tell anybody, my 
young niggas in the streets. Like, bro, take that money and invest in something. Like, don't just be here yeah. doing shit. So, you know. Oh, yeah, you got to know. Like, if you a, sure. if, if you a stripper and you ain't got nothing else going on besides dancing, we just fin- I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. But if you got other things and I see, okay, like, you value this, you value that. But if, mm-hmm. if this the only lifestyle, only you just, thing you you just, you just right. lost right. in the souls, like, living right. a lifestyle. And you have some right. people that no, this bitch. is all they know. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. That's how they're not even taking their money and doing that. It's really. a difference between a dancer and a stripper hole, man. Is that y'all really know? I had to tell a girl who was it's stripping. Different. She had made over five bands this week. She told she was venting like she didn't have a bank account. I'm like, why are you a dancer without a bank account? You could put your money in the bank. Like, what are you doing? You just got the cash. Hey, come holler at me, baby. I'll get you right. I'll, I'll get I'll that account ready for you. But no, like you really have people that just don't even know what to do. They're just making the money. Not and you got some people that make the money for hair, nails, makeup, all the yeah, wrong reasons. Reason. You have to invest that money. Like yeah. I took my money, opened up businesses. Mm-hmm. My daughter, you know her. I work her at a bank. studio, so it's like mm-hmm. I work at a bank. Dancers come in there all the time, and I show all y'all love, take care of y'all, make sure y'all good. So just come holler at me. <laughs> yeah, they got bank accounts though, right? Yeah, they got bank accounts. I just <laughs> send them out the same as another. I love bank accounts. He be sending them to me. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, but I just got another one. <laughs> say, say that one for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be no, nice. but if it's like a revolving cycle, it's just like drug dealers. Like, if you're not seeing no type of, you're yeah. not creating businesses. When LLC, I was outside, stop flipping them ounces. Yeah, Baby, saying. you ain't even got no money. What Tay B said? What she said to her stop? <laughs> Which, she said something like, you niggas is hustling but ain't making no money. Like, stop. Just stop. All right, we got to get into the next okay. topic. So. No, let me, let me go. Because okay, my shit ahead, was something ahead. we already talked about. So I actually mm-hmm. wanted to talk about, talk about because y'all both dancers and y'all in the Tamer industry or whatever. Um, they ain't more, they ain't people who make more money than you. Well, mm-hmm. for y'all, y'all making no more money. And then us as niggas, That's a good the topic. women making no more We've money. We've been talking so, about this a lot too. Yeah, yeah. They've been coming up a lot. So... Dating a man that you make more money than or whatever. What are y'all thoughts on it? How y'all feel about it? We're gonna start with I wanna start with y'all. I love my man. I'ma stick beside him. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that you said. I don't know. I don't date people for their pockets. I date people for their heart. So it's all how you feel me. We're gonna come up together. So I notice a lot of women who have motion and actually have something feel that way. It's usually the girls who don't got shit that's like, yeah, what like, can a nigga do for me? He got to have more money. Ah, ah, ah. But... <laughs> no, that's not true. Mo- okay, no, so majority of the I'm time... A, I'm a you got like people this. who say that. Yeah, I'm right, a right. humble I say it all like the time. Any man that I've dealt with, unfortunately, has had... You know, can't really... You, Cause like let's be real, if I can go and dance and make two thousand a night, most guys can't go and work an eight hour shift and get two thousand right. dollars. So we have to be really real about it. So most of the men that I've dated, it's just strictly off of I care about them, it's love or whatever. Yeah, I, I understand that I make I may be able to make money quicker than you or yeah. whatever. But of course, I would love to have a man who can make more than me. But like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look at your financial status and just be like oh it's oh yeah like, no yeah. I'm gonna look at more of your character how you are whatever like your and financial status me. like we can build together. You make me happy and yeah. that ain't about no money. So let me tell you But I will pop my shit like when niggas start playing yeah. with me like I will pop my Glad shit. You said that. <laughs> yeah we was definitely tell you why it's scary for us. Cause that's some bullshit. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I've always been a provider. Like, I watched my dad provide. Like, my mom was married to him. She didn't have to work. My dad was a provider. My grandpa was a provider. Mm -hmm. So, I'm a provider by nature. So, like, I have dealt with women where I done got down on my dick. And they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they Yeah, help me because they know I'm a stand-up nigga. You know what I'm saying? But the type of man I am, I'm not going to lie, I do kind of, like, need that power structure of, well, how I've been in the past is, like, I always need to be like the head honcho. I need to be the nigga with the show. I need I need a woman to support me and things like that. Cause I don't really got the my ego can't take that. Like and it's not hating. It's nothing like that. But it's like I feel like the times the one time when I did go ahead and depend on a woman and like like I've I've never been that nigga to live with women, live off women, need their cars, nothing. I always have my own car, my own place, whatever. And then it's like the first time I finally was like, you know what? I'm gonna give up my place so I could save some money and shit. She just as- <laughs> Shit was packed up by the Bro, door. Bro, guys, nigga, I'm playing all this. Like, <laughs> like, and that shit made me so played. I don't put niggas out because Man, that like give them a chance. To mm. go to another bitch house. So oh, if that's... anything, bitch, you're going to go get on the motherfucking couch and you better not dock my motherfucking Guess dog. what? You just hit it. Because guess what? <laughs> bitch, you go, you went to guess another what? bitch house, didn't you? 
I ain't been back since. See? I got put out. Uh, I never uh, went back. And yeah. I, yeah. I, I, a nigga that told me I'm too saying. a while that he didn't fuck with the girl because the girl put him out. He said, when she put him out, he never went back. Yeah. So I, I know, never do that. Pussy asshole, you got me yeah, fucked up. Like, I mean, you I'm not. The whole head been staying at your shit for six months straight. But you better get on the flow. Yeah, You're not whole, leaving my house. The whole relationship, you was at my shit. <laughs> yeah. Now that I come to your shit two months in, you put me out. Cause you lie but about some I've shit. I've never been a girl in a situation to where I'm living at a man's spot. Like I'm telling you, it's always been my, my. It's shit. always been my That's shit. Still like putting him out. Because at the end yeah, of the day, we're supposed to be a put team. You like, what you you out for? If I push you out for cheating, but you just gonna do, go cheat some more. Always so no, I'm, go get on the couch, get on the flow, or go get on the other room. I'm just using yeah. that example, like. I'm not putting you out. I just asked a bitch a I question. I need to know where you at. <laughs> I mean, the only time I put somewhere out is it was a domestic situation. I can't even sleep. Not doing my nigga. So, so if I no, put it out, bitch, I can't go to sleep. I got a call two hours later. Like, come back. I'm in that bed. Oh, no, no hell come back. No. Stand on that. No, yeah. okay. Bet. You ain't keep on that. Stand on that. Never Stand went back. <laughs> no, I had I had a bitch put my shit out. See, that's that's what for me. That's like the worst thing. Humiliating. Cause it's like that's that's First weird. of all You gotta do the walk of shame With the shit It's like <laughs> Cause it's like Bitch you being weird like, yeah. You know what I'm saying Like you being weird ho. And then it's always For me to come back So it's like mm-hmm. You really care But you go so far And you know Once you go back only, You just started It's only cycle. one time I did Put his stuff to his mama house mm-hmm. Because he Was in my car mm-hmm. And my friend called me was like Friend you still got your pants shirt I'm like yeah It's your boyfriend Number nine on four seven I'm like Huh Oh yeah He was just up here In your car Mm. He got Talk, her, got her talking to me to my friend. Mm. Oh, yeah, and nah. she was like, Yeah, we on the phone. I'm like, You got an old lady? He's like, Yeah, Diamond Duval. Bitch, first of all, everybody know me. So that was dumb, but not knowing that was my friend. He ain't hide you, though. <laughs> you know, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, Joe. No, 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 it don't matter. That's my friend. You in my Wait, car playing like it's your shit. I ain't gonna lie, though. He ain't know, though. That's the only one time, but like. He kept was, I, was I a whole ass nigga for this? I ain't gonna lie. One time a bitch had me fucked up. She went out with her friends. And then I found out it was some niggas over there at the house. So when when she came, I had done got her soap and shit out the bathroom. Her spending the night, she her bonded. I put it in a bag and put it on the door. Oh, was, no. Just because so what you had like a whole night bag? To no, that out? was shit she left at my house. But sometimes when so girls I put her shit on the door now. Sometimes you? when girls hang yeah. with their friends, just because niggas. niggas was over there, yeah, that means she was doing this. Why this why this hoe got you around niggas? Because there were bitches. If there was bitches over here, if there was bitches over here, it'd be a problem. You just say something. What is we talking about? Why them hoes got you around? Come on, they don't respect our relationship. Come on, now. What the fuck is that? Because no. a, week, a week before this, you was just popping up to my shit. Because me and my dog chilling. You think yeah. it's hoes over here? Are you calling me, making me get on the floor under the bed with the face? These hoes shouldn't even have, have you in a position here. to have. But that was just a clean. toxic relationship. But too. what you just said is crazy because I've had somebody I was in a relationship with, and he literally snapped on my ass. He was like, "I don't give a fuck. Stop your friends. They got me fucked up. Tell me about niggas. Oh, they got a yeah. big place. You wouldn't y'all, like y'all friends don't be respecting yeah. the relationship. Oh yeah, my boy." Friends do not respect a relationship at all. Yeah, yeah. it be the niggas. It's the niggas. And the you niggas never, and the you never like the friend once you know. You go through the phones. The homeboys be. Uh-uh. But um, I ain't going through no more phones. Oh baby. yeah, me neither. I'm past that. I think so, my heart. Was I just saw in them. Africa somewhere. My bad. But <laughs> as far as your financial question, like I will say that I've noticed in the club industry or where industries like even OnlyFans, like girls is fucking dicks for money, like real deal. They always got some like broke nigga. That's their boyfriend. I'm sorry. I'm just being real. Yeah. Like I just noticed this. So that financial thing, I don't think that's true. Let girls, me, especially who got girls, they're not okay. looking for niggas with money most of the time. Well, you got some girls. They just gold diggers that because I know yeah. some. Okay. He ain't got no money. You can't fuck with them. So we know you about your bad because I have a theory that women who kind of had their own motion, I feel like y'all don't really like niggas telling y'all what to do oh. and shit and like y'all kind of like niggas who are a little no, under no. y'all because y'all have more control over the situation. I don't think that's like true. Like awesome Oprah and Stedman shit. <laughs> like I feel like because women are statue, Nicki Minaj, husband nobody, Oprah, mm. Mm. Stedman mm. don't got as much money as mm-hmm. her. Like a lot of women I be noticing like they don't But that can, they, that can speak to what they saying too though as far as like just they just we they, love them for they, him. They care more mm-hmm. about the person than the whatever. Mm-hmm. And by me having my own most I could date with the fuck I want. But at the same time though That's true. I could go get a homeless man to make him something. I agree That's with true. you. It's about Mentality bringing that person too. up. You know yeah, yeah, But yeah. I'm personally like the type of person I do crave that person that I feel like I can look 
up to more or has more and can teach me more. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's what I, I learn from each other. other. I want that. See, but that person can't. But <laughs> learn when somebody can teach you and financial and their financial status do not compare. And I agree because I'm saying you don't have to. Like, I've been with the person. I was with a person who worked in the Air Force, literally was an Air Forceman or whatever you call them, an mm-hmm. airman. So it's like you don't make as much money than me. I, I, I can make more money than you, but he taught me so many different things that, and that's what I created in that relationship it's, that, yeah. it's gonna be when you're dealing with a woman who make more money than you or just a woman who money not an issue for her so that's mm-hmm. not what she looking for you can't impress her with that shit she may yeah, come from it or whatever money. you gotta find what your value is to her in different ways and then exactly. and that way and those relationships, when you build a relationship with women like that, I feel mm-hmm. like the connection be more. You know how many uh, celebrities, and football real. players, basketball yeah. players I leave on scene. Mm-hmm. It don't be about that. I just right. feel like people just want to fuck. You me. gonna run into a ditty trying to go mm-hmm. for money. You gonna yeah, run into I a just, nigga with hella money like that you want shit. Nah, you a gotta lot of, offer me a lot of women who like, having their way, or anybody who having their way, like. Even yeah. with us, like, just because a bitch bad, that don't mean I want to talk to you. You know right. what I'm saying? It's a mentality thing, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I was just telling y'all about, like, I ain't, I'm trying to stop being so superficial. Because I feel like the women that I typically go for, a thick, nice body, pretty face, all of that, be fucking deviants. I, oh, y'all got to tell me something. Especially okay, so, red. and tell me if this is crazy, but I really, Especially if they're red. <laughs> listen, Yeah, I, it be the red women that be the worst. Women. Tell me, if, I, I don't know. I yeah. recently had a y'all man. Y'all got to cut the bullshit. Yeah, that's red But I recently had a man tell me, like, you're not you not the baddest girl on my roster like that I've had. Is that a horrible thing to say? No, no, he <laughs> sometimes you got humble. But no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't ever do it like that though. So look, you listen, know listen, what I do. Listen, I be ready for them to be like. No, no, so no. who's your ex? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Which one you want to see? Because all my bitches no, don't that. No, listen, <laughs> listen. My he first said it, but he was just saying. He was giving me an example. He was like, "You not the bad." He was like, "Let me be fair. I'm not going for looks. Like I don't care that you're mocha based and you look this way. You got a fat ass. Whatever. You're the girl mm-hmm. I love the most. But I've had badder bitches. I don't know, but that shit just kind of made me feel some type of way. Why? Yeah. Oh yeah, but that's because you real ego. You got a big ego. Mocha like, got the biggest ego of anybody yeah. I know. Wow. I was like, "What you mean I'm not the bad?" That's, that's like a girl. That's like when girls. I would be like, "Show me." So we yeah, just fuck together. I, that's why I keep saying, I, I keep asking, please show me. Please show me. I think he lying. But no. y'all, it ain't nothing when y'all be like, no, the big ones be too much. It's the perfect size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Who said that? No, girl. Wait, the big one. Oh, you never heard that? <laughs> <laughs> y'all crazy. Oh, no, you right, because I will tell you, man, you're not the biggest dick I've ever had, yeah. but I like that I don't say the fuck. <laughs> Who that? Hey, hey, Mo, hey, hey, Mo. Am I, Style am, am I the biggest matter. you ever had? <laughs> <laughs> really? No, no, no. Bitches, bitches be saying stuff like <laughs> during <laughs> sex. Like, sometimes they start getting carried away. Like, <laughs> doing sex, I'm going to tell you, hey, this ain't the biggest dick I had. No, no, no. no that's no. crazy. No, no, no. I know, no, 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 I know. I ain't never they, said that. They be like, oh, this dick so big. I be like, it's too big. Relax. Oh, no. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> oh, but no, telling a girl she's not the baddest you ever had, come on now. That's mm. that's a But that's what he's telling you is that I'm not worried. I'm not dating people for superficial reasons. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I, I mean, care about what's inside you. And you're like, not I'm, yeah, I would have my feelings too, though. It's right. I don't know. You're not, you but gotta he, be very cautious of what you say to your woman because you know that's oh yes that's yeah. enough thing. I'm glad you said it you have yeah. to yeah because we all feel be hurt by yeah. anything like it be some of the stuff somebody like who could that work on her what, what? Any girl I fuck with, I tell them they the baddest I ever fuck Thank with. you. Tell me that. that I don't care if I'm not. Even if I'm not. Eating the back of my head, I'm like. Just tell me. But no, I'm going to always tell you you the baddest I fuck with. That's what I like. So I for him to even I say think that, a nigga telling you that you're not the baddest is going to make you like. Humble. If you got something, it's something you need to prove to that nigga. Like, oh, yeah. I'm going to show that nigga who the fucking yeah. baddest no, is. No, it like, actually made me back the fuck up. Because mm. stop playing with me. Yeah. yeah you know, that's that's, that's gross. Yeah. Stop back. I literally See, back if up. If you would have boosted your head. No, cause you know I, mean, what I, I get what he was saying, yeah, but it just made like, me like. You know what I do? It's not what you say, it's how you say it. He ain't have to even. Yeah, yeah. When I first started fucking with a bitch, I be like, like, yeah, yeah, like my last, like I'm used to getting a lot of head. Like, <laughs> Oh, you know what <laughs> I be like, bro. I like, yeah. My last one, she used to go crazy morning, night, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, then that, now they got something to, to prove. prove. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I done said stuff like, I done got into it with my boyfriend, 
homeboy. He done said shit to me. And I'm like, my last nigga would have beat that nigga ass. He'll never let a nigga try me. Mm-hmm. Now I done said stuff like that. Let him know, like, bitch, you let your homeboy try me. My last nigga. Now he ain't I got to fight with dogs. I got to fight with dogs. Okay, no, <laughs> man. Nobody try me. I'm, I'm big on sparing. I done said stuff like I'm that. I'm big on sparing people's feelings. Like, I've yeah, had me to do. Too. I when the moment I'm he scared. said that, I'm like, do you know how many niggas I fuck with that will beat your ass? That got more money than you? That dicks is way better? I, that's what I'm going to say. Always. But I'm never going to tell you <laughs> that. that. Like, <laughs> but I'm <laughs> saying, I'm saying, no more. The nigga said it I'm nice. I'm saying, saying no more. Like, the nigga said something to you that, like, on the on the second half, that meant so, so much, much more, more than what he said in the beginning. And you didn't hear none of that. <laughs> no, I didn't yeah. hear that. Nigga literally said, No, that went out my mouth. I didn't hear that you love me the most. Nigga said, you, nigga said you got the best. Like nigga said, I love, I love, I love you, you for real. Mm-hmm. I love he you. He put like. an analogy. He was like, if all these bitches, the baddest bitch, if their cars broke down, who I'm coming to first? You and I'm just like, bitch. You said I'm not the baddest. Oh, he's saying it in a weird way. Though. Yeah, you're yeah. like, oh, that's with me. even worse. Yeah. You really sound like the duck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> when anyway. I need some money in the place to stay hot in the cut. <laughs> Coming to you, <laughs> dumb bitch. No, he was saying if all y'all cars is broke down, I'm coming to you. You did it. I don't you know. Like, oh, you ain't the baddest bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't like you that. You ain't the baddest bitch, but you number one. I do. I feel you ain't the baddest bitch on my if roster, but you number one on the roster. I ain't gonna That's lie. What I'm saying. He look. He talking to you a little crazy. Yeah. But thank you. I don't like. I fuck Instagram models, video vixens. Bitch, you ain't nobody. Oh, I can't stand <laughs> but I still love you the most. Yeah. Niggas, I'm like, I'm Instagram models. I can't stand y'all. Because I don't give a fuck. You an Instagram model. No, I'm not. I got 4,000 followers. But what's an Instagram you model? I got 187. I feel like Instagram yeah. models is a look. It's like the oh, content you produce. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if you a bad, <clears throat> you a bad bitch online. It's not bad. the amount of followers. Yeah. You say okay. Yeah, not really. Okay. Like, if I talk to you, you one definitely of y'all, I'd be, be like, oh yeah, I got an Instagram bad bitch. Both of y'all. Instagram oh, baddies, crazy. yeah, like you got to be a bad bitch, and you post up on Instagram, you get love on Instagram, yeah. and shit like that. And you not just posting, but like when you're I think using of it Instagram, as a tool, a platform, okay, okay, I get it. yeah. Because I be thinking like you get Ruby Rose, I'm doing this shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's levels, it's levels yeah. to everything. Yeah, I yeah. am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ain't say you love that. <laughs> <laughs> you won't hear. <laughs> Y'all fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so the reason why I wanted to talk about this though, because I know y'all been seeing it with Simone Biles and her husband and shit, uh, and how they've been on his ass or whatever. That nigga's using her though. No, bro. Yes. But they've been, I don't know. But they've been on um, his ass or whatever because, and her ass, like too, because motherfuckers feel like because she's more successful and got more money, that he shouldn't like view himself highly. Or whatever, and that like, and it's kind of like a demerit. But he's an character. athlete too, right? Yeah, he in the NFL, but he not no Simone Biles. No, but like she came out and said a statement and said, "Stop calling him Miss Mr. Biles, Mi- Mr. Simone Biles," because they doing yeah. it. I mean, because I agree. Him. If you offend my man like that, I'm a step for my man. Like, stop mm-hmm. fucking. Yeah, he's not Mr. Michael Bay. Like, but, stop playing with him. But that's why. So it'd be like, as men, it's weird, right? Because mm-hmm. you'll have a conversation with women, and y'all all like when y'all in front of us, it's always like a. Oh no, nah, that money, no, no, no. You know, some, some, some people. That's what they require, mm-hmm. or whatever. But then, we, when these conversations take place online, the majority of the voices be like, mm-hmm. "Fuck that broke ass nigga. That nigga ain't shit." Because you gotta right? pop right? your shit. Like, like, you gotta yeah. pop your shit. Sometimes mm-hmm. you gotta pop your shit, and you gotta encourage other women. That's what that is. What you're seeing, like me. It, is I it pop encouraging your- or is it projecting? When this woman has to come out and say, "Leave my fucking nigga alone. Y'all don't know nothing about our relationship." And you know, he was the one behind that. Like, he, he pushed her to say that. Not, but No, it was her because she even said she, no, she was like the, woman. the video know. where they went crazy on her. She said, I was there. Mm-hmm. And like, I didn't see nothing wrong with what he was saying. He was saying like, shit, I'm going to catch too. Like, I didn't know her like that. Right. Or whatever. So, and I feel like people got offended by that nigga feeling like, okay. yeah, yeah, he got, he, and, he bring something to the Let me say it like this too because we just had this conversation. Like, as a man, it is scary. Like, okay, y'all know my brother just passed. You've seen the story. I got fluid out and shit. Mm-hmm. He was talking to me. He was like, how was it? Whatever. Like, somebody showed out for my birthday, and I really appreciated that. Which, I'm. that's not the first time. Like, I, I deal with women who actually like me, so they do for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you was asking me, like, and I was telling you, like, I don't know. I'm a little scared because it's mm-hmm. like, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I've dealt with women where it's like, oh, you that love. That shit come back up. You love on me. You know what I'm saying? And she got if, if a person got can do more for you, sometimes mm-hmm. it's scary. It's like they yeah. manipulating me, whatever. But yeah, well, I don't feel like I'm a, I'm there, mm-hmm. but I just know I'm dealing with somebody who dishing out. But I will feel like this 
It's gonna come back up later. No, I feel like this is this person. I've <laughs> He's never, so pessimistic. I never dealt with somebody who was so much on their shit. Yeah. yeah. That I low key do. I was telling you, I feel like she a better person than me, and it's scaring me. She probably is. Bitch, yeah, be a better person. Than me. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> that do be no. I, because I'm used to dealing with bitches who I have to build. Build. Yeah. That's what my boyfriend said to me all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I got so much like. Like what the fuck? Yeah. I tried to build a whole one time. I ain't on that. No build a bears. Nah, I can, I can, I like me a little build a bears. It's certain ways, but nah, I, ain't I, really I gotta be able to manipulate a little bit. I was just gonna say, but all relationships are about building. <laughs> That's exactly. But I'm talking yeah. about like, but I get pick a bitch that I feel like, a, yeah, like pick a bitch that I know that I'm gonna have to build this bitch mm-hmm. up to kind of. No, I ain't never felt like it's just bitch. You bottom of the barrel, and I'm just no, nah, not bottom of the barrel, but it be a bitch who not. Yeah, not, I'm building like you into a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'll be on that. I'm teaching you like cooking, cleaning. Like, yeah, no, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not doing that no more. Mm-hmm. So now I have somebody who knows how to do all this stuff. Priorities in order. Has a degree. Get money. Travel. Want to travel the world. I'm oh, that's like, good. I'm like, what's the catch? You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm kind of scared, but mm-hmm. we rocking. We rocking. But I, sometimes I think sometimes like okay, when I go into situations, I'm not literally sitting there check marking. Who's better at what? It's like if I like you, I like, I like you. We gonna do yeah. this. It don't be to after you don't fucking fucking play with me. Then I'm like, and that's why you get bitch your heart nigga, Yeah, because y'all I not was, logical. Yeah. <laughs> you be y'all, 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 y'all not thinking like, about the shit y'all need to be thinking about. The times I've done that, I be I be, be wind up, up on a beach crying. <laughs> 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 Nobody can find me. Nigga, that nigga, uh, y'all what's our me? shit, bro? Um, <laughs> And now I cannot trust, trust you. you. Thank you. That was my favorite. And I of course you want to go. All right, we got to get into the last topic. Okay, okay, okay. No, I'm going to okay. do the last topic. So the last topic, we're going to speed through it. I put falling out with friends. I feel like this is a good topic because, like, that's that's... That's a part of it. Well, let's talk about the falling out with friends. That's the JT in Miami, and I made a post, and that whole went live on me. Thought I was talking about her. JT? No, the girl on in, on the internet. Oh, and remember Melody it went Monroe. Viral, and it went viral. I shouldn't have said so that. I made a post. That's, oh, that's, that's the credit lady, y'all. Oh, she's always arguing with people. That's the topic that I was talking about. I just felt like I didn't think it was funny with JT and your Miami. Mm-hmm. Falling out because I feel like they started together and it should have mm-hmm. been on the internet. Mm-hmm. So I made a general post about friendships. Like, I'd be hurt when I fall out my friendship. It'd be worse than a nigga. Mm-hmm. Like when I fall out with What's my nigga, but Virgo, okay. mm-hmm. 9-11. Mm-hmm. So Shout out with Virgos. It's mm-hmm. like, I just was like, I don't think it's cool. I feel like they should get off the internet. They should work it out yeah. as friends. Because I was like, mm-hmm. I take my friendship serious. Like when me and my friends going through it, I'd be hurt. And I was like, some of you hoes, y'all don't know about friendship. Y'all don't take them serious. So y'all wouldn't care. That's why y'all think it's funny that they going through this. Mm-hmm. So someone shared it and was like, oh, once it hit me in there, we can never be friends again. I shared it back and said, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Y'all always talk about once it hit the internet, y'all can't be friends. But I feel like if y'all can take them niggas back, y'all can take y'all friends back. I said, because y'all done went on the internet. Y'all done found out y'all niggas was gay. Y'all still took them back. Y'all done found out <laughs> your nigga been in all your friends' deals. And all kinds of shit. And you done took them back. This young lady thought that I, um, uh, this young lady thought that I was talking about her, her husband when I said, you found out your nigga is gay. Mind you, I didn't know that her husband was on no gay page or mm-hmm. had any experience with, I don't know, whatever they had going on, had nothing to do with me. I was sick at the time, so by the time I got back on the internet, it's like, I got so many notifications. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This girl that made a post, talking about some old, I guess because her husband, she said I was talking about her husband. I literally tried to go in her inbox and say, hey, baby, I don't know what you talking about. Mm-hmm. I was making a general post. Oh, I don't give a fuck. General post my ass. General post my nuts. I said, see, that's why your husband gay now. You think you got nuts. <laughs> you too mad. You too yeah. mad. You think you got nuts, bitch. Yeah. No. Yeah. So it's like she just went on in there and did the most and it went viral because I went live on her and I left. Oh, you probably shit. Mm. I know her ass. That that and that shit was yeah. not gonna be stooped to your level. I think she really just tried it because of who you are. Because who I was. She, and she was like, oh, crump down because I know the day before JT made a uh, mm-hmm. post about Glorilla talking about, oh, you don't got no sex appeal. You know, all you do is crump dance. She mm-hmm. made a post that I was crump dancing. So that's why everybody, I've been making a joke about crump dancing. Mm-hmm. I got it from her and after I beat the girl mm-hmm. with the Mario coins, I said, oh yeah, whatever. Oh, said I was crump dancing. <laughs> what she said? Nothing. <laughs> what she said? Nothing. Cause that's, no, but that's she's the type of girl. She fishes yeah. on people. I watch her page. She does. I like fishes on her her and Janae White have a little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, she just okay. likes. See, to talk. I didn't know nothing about her, but that next day, once people started sending me the little gay shit, where it's been, mm. they was like, "Oh yeah, you know, 
It was yeah. a topic where her boyfriend mm -hmm. was on the gay page or something. Now you done exposed that your husband. But now you gay. exposed your own husband. Whole now the whole world. We knows. didn't even know it. We didn't know. I just made a general post, and me and this girl always like each other's stuff, say stuff on people posts. So how mm -hmm. could you think I was talking about you? Right. But I love but what you said. Friendships you take, are serious. You could take a man back, but can't take take your friend, friend back. back. Like I let it. That's, like, what, give that's your why I asked you because I, I want to know plenty of chances. how far is too far with falling out. Like what's going? Like we can't come. Me back personally, once we fight we done i fought i because i'm gonna tell you why i fought a girl before and like the we went to school like two days later like knots on her face and like i was i felt so bad like you used to be my friend we fought and she, we tried to rekindle and be friends but it was something always there that made her like not like me i mean i don't put knots on your face i feel like after we fight we're done mm. we don't physically harm each other now like it ain't gonna come back but you I'm can fight your family come back from it Cause that's my sister. Our friends, I didn't fold my friends, and we mm -hmm. love each other to death. So I, I mean, remember I, don't I said know. that on that one episode. I feel like I feel like, like if you marry friend one of your friends, sleep with your husband, then yeah. hell okay, no, yeah, we ain't come back. no, ain't no coming back. And if you sleep with my nigga, like say it's a nigga, not no nigga I just fuck with, but a nigga that I'm actually been in a relationship with, in love with, stuff like that. That's mm -hmm. just no. But mm -hmm. little petty shit. Once we fight, um, once it go to the internet, it's done with me. The but internet you, stuff is. I like do feel like the internet, internet, like it, like if once you go to the internet, especially if you like direct, because me, just, I'm yeah, not, direct. yeah, I'm not a internet type of nigga. Like mm -hmm. I'll call your phone. We done had somebody adjust us over the internet. And what I did went straight to you know the text thread. Like I'm not an internet type of nigga. Never been that type. Like we can handle it in the street, or we can handle it. We could talk it out, or we could fight, we could whatever. But once it go to the internet and people, it's messy shit, and everybody got an opinion, and you don't put my business out, and I'm not even finna do it back and forth with you. Now it's just that. Yeah, when I that's see another you. thing. Telling my business, like, I feel like we not friends no more. I don't gotta mm -hmm. tell your business. You ain't gotta tell mine. You go your way, and I go mine. Mm -hmm. But all that put my business out there that we done. No, I feel like that's, that's the ultimate a betrayal because that's if you're betrayal. a friend, I share things with friends that I don't mm -hmm. share with other people. Y'all know things about me that people out there will not know about me. So if we fall out and y'all put that out there, it's yeah, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, we can't But that's somebody waiting anymore. to, yeah. I feel like, it's just like girls who take pictures of their friends' panties and shit. Like, that's like, a lie. I would never yeah. do nothing like, like yeah. I've never yeah. done nothing. I ain't never took, I seen a girl take a picture of her friend's house. Now you knew your friend's house was dirty as fucking Help nasty her. like that. Mm -hmm. Help her. Why are you taking pictures of it? I don't do that. Now, I like, sleep. okay, because yeah. like, if I'm not mistaken, like somebody who has sold love to the uh, show before is Stormy Rebel. But if I'm not mistaken, then y'all had like a public feud. Yeah, but I she see publicly love. flew to Jacksonville and gave me an apology. Yeah, uh, yeah. And now she gives me, you know, my flowers and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. That's what women do. Sometimes they come back and they apologize that's for true. stuff that they done did because it be on their heart and it was on her heart. And that's when her end shell was doing it. But mm -hmm. she felt like it got too far with the murders and stuff and people saying I set people up and she's mm -hmm. a mother you know what I'm saying so yeah. she flew in and gave yeah. me a public apology flew all the way here yeah. and came here and gave me an apology on live That's yeah and y'all so she's I another real one everything. too and I see y'all showing love to each other yeah and stuff, we give so love cool. to each other now we put that behind us and stuff like that okay okay that's cool that's cool so for, yeah I feel like oh, go ahead, I was just gonna bad. say for me I'm I'm the type of person like I don't really take shit personally y'all know how I am on mm -hmm. but once you do something where you had a choice and you made a clear choice to say fuck me, it's mm -hmm. you a rap. And I ain't gonna say no words to you. It ain't gonna be no pressure, or nothing like that. But me and you not gonna be cool no more. You not gonna mm -hmm. be able to speak to me. It just be a dub. I'm big right. on choices. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, Cause he try to see the best. If he yeah, like, I, I, I <laughs> yeah. just don't take shit personal. I don't be like, feeling yeah. like he would be just thinking yeah. about me. You know, and they could go back and post and be like, yeah, niggas with K's in their name that uh, you <laughs> on podcast be some bitches. I be like, bro, they obviously talking like, about you. That, that ain't about nah. me, man. <laughs> yeah, cause, cause I'll be like, that shit ain't about me, bro. Because if yeah, it was about yeah. me, he would have said it to me. Yeah. If he don't, if he not, but you also enough, don't be thinking people is just yeah. that. And if, you, out. and if you ain't real enough to say it to me, it don't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You yeah, ain't direct true. with it. It ain't respect. Cause I be ready. Yeah. I be like, who, who, who this about? No, but, and even in situations, <laughs> and even situations where I know they be I talking about right me. under that shit. I go to that hood. Hey, baby, like this me. for me. Yeah. And I my know. sisters for me. Like they're like, oh, she talking about you. They put a message. I'm like, bro, don't do that. I don't be. I'm not confrontational. We had like to get on her to stop talking hey, to the trolls. She, she argue with the troll. You know, we <laughs> like to argue. <laughs> my family just like that. But when it comes I mean, to too. friendships and stuff, mm -hmm. I would say me personally, like. 
I, I like friendships where we never. I have my best friend. We've never fall out. We never got into mm-hmm. an argument, nothing. And it's been years because it's like we we're grown. We can understand each other. So if we have a disagreement, we talk about it. So that's me personally. I really needed the advice because I feel like I'm going through something like that right now, mm-hmm. where like I feel like somebody I'm close with kind of like threw shots at me on social media and like. Oh. It's kind of, I wouldn't say it's squash, but we patch it up, but it's still like. It's uh, on your heart. Yeah, especially because it's like, you know, I'm not stupid. Like, I knew it was about me. Other people knew it was about me, but it's like, it wasn't directed. Mm-hmm. Like directly, like it wasn't my name, but it's just like in your situation, he didn't directly tarnish your name or try to make other people mm-hmm. look down at you. Like that's your. And so you're, I feel like that was just your friend had some shit on his chest. He said that y'all could talk about that. Like that mm-hmm. situation, it wasn't like oh he said low key v this type of nigga did it on social media. But so it was to the point that. where people. People but do. when people know that it's my shit, be like, mm. well, what you and your friend going through? You seen exactly. that post? That'd be like, yeah. that'd be for me. Like, yeah. now you got people thinking that the post got me, even it ain't for me. Yeah, but I yeah. feel like what was said, what would be said, does matter. matter. Yeah, yeah, it matter. And, and about that was what? a part of it too. Like what was said, and, and my thing is. And like, then why? What did I do to you to do well, that? Well, it, it, something had already happened behind the scenes, so it's oh, like, okay. don't bring it here. Don't like, bring it to the internet. We can keep it. We there. already talked about it. All right, if, you, if you had it on your heart like that, we could grid. We could. Like, he's like, you know? uh, well, okay, I'm not saying that, but <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, clip that. Yeah. But anyway, in that situation, some people are just. Emotional, like I feel like that response about mm. what you're saying. No, was an what emotional it was response. Is, I'm one of them people, like as when, niggas, certain shit, like certain being too emotional. That's a liability. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. In a certain type of way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, no, nah, and it, it's just a what's the name? But I'm one of them people, like. I once you go low, I'm like going yeah. the lowest. So it's like I really. Go low, I was, then you had to go huh? make your post. He right? ain't go low though. Oh, yeah. I had already went low. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I said. Because I said but he is like, low. So it's like and then once I go low and I really like fuck you up, I'm gonna ignore you. Like you don't exist. So it's like okay, this on your chest. The only way you know I'm gonna see it is if you do it socially because I'm not paying you no mind over oh, here. Yeah. So, but it was like nigga, if it was that much, just shoot me the text. Fuck it. And I'd be like, bro, we could grid, but that's my dog. I love him, but yeah. it's still like one of them things, like you know, it, it do be hurtful. It the mm-hmm. but and it's about how much you love a person. Like some well, friendships, y'all get to one fight. Her. I gotta consider done. you like family, cause yeah. I already know my brother get out. We finna have to yeah. fight one or two times. Yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely, like I said, but I can I, show him who the big dog, cause he been gone for ten years. I cut you off. I don't get no fuck. Yeah, we, like a certain shit, I would never do. And me, I'm real big on like. I don't be mad about what you did. I'm more mad about how you got me feeling about you after the fact. You know mm. what I'm saying? So if I feel like, if I really love you, if I feel like I'm going to have to put my hands on you or some shit like that, I'm going to just stop fucking with you because I'd rather, like, before we, I beef with you, I'd rather just have distance type mm. shit. Right. Yeah. I don't well, know. Sometimes, I wanna... sometimes you can pull out the boxing gloves. Yeah. 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 Sometimes. It depends. I ain't, I ain't never really fall out with none of my homies. Sometimes home, I want to swing on my bitch. <laughs> that don't mean I'm going to leave her. Yeah. If you my homeboy, right. I'm going to just say, bro, you want to fight real quick, bro? That's It good. depends on how deep the friendship is. Like, yeah. if it's a surface level friendship and you do some fuck shit, I see you making some and like, bitch, fuck you. But you're my sister, you my cousin, you a, lo- a, a deep friend. Friendship, then it's like we probably got and it depend on it. what they because some people can't take an ass whooping. Yeah, so it's yeah. like yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. I know we got to do shout out right yeah, now. Okay, this, we, this one good. So, um, on this one, we just gonna give a scenario and you tell me if they shot out or if they should rock out, which is what I think. I watch my friend get jumped, but they know I'm not a fighter. Hey, paid and base, I'm having a dilemma. My friend got a bar, got into a bar fight Friday night. And I just watched. I know what you're thinking. I'm scary or pussy. But hear me out. I was raised in a Catholic church. I went to private schools with mostly white people. I am mixed, half white and black. I was with my black friends at a bar. And the girl looked at them crazy. And I suppose that made it escalate to people putting hands on each other. I've never been in a fight. So I stood there and didn't do anything. When the video got replayed, I was so embarrassed. I was shook. And my friends are saying I'm not a real friend. Am I shot out? Shot the fuck out. Yeah, she yeah, shot you out. Shot out. You shot out. And we not That's not even a question. Yeah. She- and yeah. you bringing up you mix and shit with that mean? I'm, I'm probably gonna fight you after this. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking if I don't need this. I don't. So my friend let me get jump. I, I got jump. I got up and beat her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, at this point, we somebody can't be friends jump. no more. Yeah, mm-hmm. at, like that's. Yeah. It don't matter if you can fight or not. One fight, we all fight. But that happened yeah. to me when I got jumped. I don't know if y'all seen that went viral too when I got jumped mm. a couple of years at um. Nah, was Duval Day. It was Duval Day. When everybody be downtown, I forgot what that day called. Oh, uh, uh, Florida versus Florida Georgia. Georgia. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It was Duval Day. Duval Day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I got jumped. Mm-hmm. And 
the girls that's with me didn't help me. Mm. And yeah. no, we, uh, we can't, you know, yeah. I still speak and stuff, but our friendship is not the same. You yeah. let me get jumped. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. shout out. Shout yeah, out I feel like sure. it's shout out because I feel like me personally, when I go out, everybody around me, I know for a fact, if some shit pop off, yeah. we ready to fucking go. Yeah. Like, that's just me. And, like, and it's going to be my sisters and cousins. So if I look back and I'm getting beat up or something, they're not mm-hmm. doing nothing. First off, one fight, we all fight. Right. I don't care what y'all think, but I have the type of, and I've been, I've literally been beating a girl ass. Like, I'm stumping this hoe. Here come my sister, stumping her ass too. Like, yeah, I, 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 I That's overkill. But I was winning. <laughs> that's overkill. Yeah. She had a fight too. Mm. So, that's just how we roll. I yeah, no, nah, I'm the other, like, we go out, bro, and, and some, a nigga get the best of me, and I look up, <laughs> this nigga just watching. <laughs> I'm about to say, I, I believe in jumping whole hardly. I don't yeah, believe in one on one. Yeah. Right. If I'm fighting, as soon as as soon as I as soon as two or three connect, yeah. nigga, y'all boys. Yeah. I, I mean, we but every time we out, we be like, we I'm about to say, I let niggas yeah. know already. But when I get there, once that shit get in, I'm letting y'all niggas know, hey, bro. Yeah. No, he like he be like. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be like, hey. No, it was this one night we all <laughs> out, and this bitch tried me, and I'm really finna fight her. Here go K3. Mocha, please, not tonight. Not tonight. tonight. Not no, tonight. It's, Holding it's, me back. It's I'm my like, birthday. Girl, I want to beat this whole ass. Because you got to realize it's hoes. We don't want to put our hands on hoes. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, he was like, damn, because if you would have hit them hoes, I would have had to hit a hoe. Like, yeah, but, but then <laughs> and I was looking out for you because you was drunk, and it was five of them hoes. It was yeah. three of us. It was like, so no, we definitely, we definitely, two of y'all. We definitely would have had to knock some weed yeah. out. It was five of them hoes. It was just two of y'all. Yeah. We was going to get beat up. Yeah. I was yeah. drunk as fuck. You know how you drunk? You, yeah. just you don't even notice. Her friends behind you. I'm, I done put myself in front. And I'm it's pushing cool. this girl. I'm pushing yeah. it. So I'm like, bitch, move. I just right stood in, I just stood like, in front of them. Move. No, like I stood. No, like no, like it's straight. Like y'all good. These hoes was in the section with us all night, man. Mind you. So I'm like, they they with us at this point. Like, what you doing? One night know, he got so drunk in the club. I went out to the car with a little shorty. <laughs> He called me, he like, yeah, where you at? Cause I'll beat one of these niggas out. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, let's go. I got my stick. I'm I just like, be getting What drunk. you need your gun for? I'm like, man, I'm not finna be out here Fuck. wrestling with these niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, I be drunk. yeah, you shout out. You gotta fight. I don't care if you scary. Like, do something. Yeah, you pull a hell. Pull yeah. a break. Yeah, you, at least break it up. Like, break you can it do something. Up. Like, Even if you can't fight, we you can just can't up. stand Call the police. If you gotta <laughs> wear the ass with you gotta wear the ass with I don't care if it's two against 50. Listen, getting beat up is not. Well, it's I not jump, but it's not that bad. You get beat up or jump, like you gonna be straight. Bitch. You gonna be straight. Okay. <laughs> no, I just wanna like that's the best part about a jump. Like, thank All you. Right. Okay, the next one is I slept with my friend's dead husband. <clears throat> Was he dead when you slept with him? No, it's my dead. <laughs> you slept with who? My friend's dead husband. I'm writing anonymous because I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, my but you friend. Be. My friend's husband of 34 years recently passed away. They met when we were about 24 years old. We are both almost 60 now, and I have a terrible secret. I slept with her husband. It was their first year dating, and we instantly realized it was a mistake. He passed away six months ago, and the guilt has been eating me up. Should I tell my friend that we had crossed those lines? It feels so wrong hey, baby, yeah. that he got to die and leave yeah. me with the guilt. You die with the guilt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bitch, die with the grave like he did. Yeah, what the fuck? He yeah. died. He didn't say right. nothing. You die. You don't say nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I do want to say shout out to the old hoes who watch our show. I do want to say that. No, for real. How you on my 60 watch Shout out to the today? auntie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout but, out. Yeah, nah. Rock out, baby. Don't, don't. Don't just take that shit. to the grave. You shout out. You shout out for her. writing us. Yeah, yeah. You, you tell her, you tell her, you shout out. You shout out because it done been this long. He did. Yeah. He did. Six months. Let her grieve. Talking baby. about, oh, he died. And then six months later, right. y'all, yeah, she got to grieve. Imagine having, having to tell her right now. Imagine having a nigga that slept with your friend, but you can't beat his ass. Like he dead. Yeah, he's I can't dead. Get what I would do? And yeah. she acting like this is because he died. He got the better hand. He's dead. And, and you alive? You finna lose your best friend because Mary Ann going to put the paws on. Oh you. God. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's jump into hygiene tips. Okay. Um. So hygiene tips. You know, it's paid and based. Uh, that was, so we gave hygiene tips of the day. So we'll let you start. Like, it could be for the men, for the ladies, whatever hygiene tip you got for them. You just give it some. Ladies in the club, <laughs> bathe your coochies before getting on the floor. <laughs> what yeah, I tell them. She always say that. <laughs> yeah, just bathe, you know. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we heard it be, it be getting a well, funky. Well, I think the, the only time is rooms. like when they, they have sex right before they come. Like, you could we can still smell the semen. Oh no! Some people be smelling like ass on oh. coochie. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. You no, know, go to the dress room, freshen up, come back. You My know. thing is like, if you're a dancer, I would think you're super like 
you got to be. Most, most stars, stars I know most are super star, clean, Most stars. Like, yeah, most stars. But you got clean. them oddballs. Yeah, you got some. That I've literally seen a, a bitch. I seen a bitch. She literally, and I know this hoe came with the same stuff. She went home with some customers, which is dirty in itself. But when she came back to the club, she had the same clothes on. Her hair was sputtered. You can tell she ain't take no shower. Went in the back, put her clothes on, and went to work. And, and niggas be complaining about her smell. And I'm like, how can you even do that? Like, you're supposed to take a shower be- she right before. No, she's black. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to take a shower before you come to work. How you go out at night, go get fucked or some shit, come back the next day, ain't even took a shower, hair fucked or everything, and put your clothes right. back on. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, That's crazy. My hygiene tip of the day. So, I got one of them little, um, what's the shit called? A bathroom cleaner to scrub my uh, tub and shit off the TikTok shop. The brush? Yeah, you know, the oh, electric the ones. The long, yeah, that be raw. Got my tub yeah. real clean. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Y'all get y'all one. I got it for $9, too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that be raw. I was having some fun with it. I like that. What you got? Cause he over here smelling good. I'm like, what fuck tips he got? Um, he smelled like he just got out of the tub just now. He did. That's why the nigga was late. I'm like, well, I'm in the shower. Right. Uh, niggas, uh, take care of your own hands. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Um, women like hands. Nails all, cool looking. Nails, you they're do, clean. They, yeah, yeah, yeah that's how you feel, yeah. bitch, right Mine's here. Mine's clean. Put, they just like please do not put your me. hands in my coochie. <laughs> 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 like it. But nah, uh, take care of your own hands. All y'all do, y'all niggas can clip y'all nails or whatever. That's all it really takes is just clean, make sure that shit not I ain't clip my shit this You should clip your shit clean. They're clean, they're not dirty. Most people would all be dirty. I don't like that. I got to clip them. Yeah, it's a nigga that come in my job, bro. This nigga hands look so nasty, bro. Like yeah. that shit bad. Yeah, I nigga like nail you. bed, nail bed all big and shit. Yeah, yeah, that shit. Maybe that's bad. why you be trying to finger your girl. Go get, get a her manicure, BB. like yeah. It's but not a lot gay. of niggas be feeling like they can't do. Just at least oh, pick your do it at or, home. Or some niggas only take care of shit. I keep my manicure. A finger clip, baby. You right? You want me pull them out? You know. Oh yeah, he likes showing his feet. Yeah, I got nice feet. Yeah, I get. I go. That's why my shit ain't clipped. Cause I'm. Look at my nails. This hand short. This the fight. Oh, God. <laughs> punch in his hand still. Oh, on. that's cute. Though. <laughs> so these was off if I got them fighting. So I said, hey, just in case you want a round two, go on and put these short men on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real thumbs. Because that yeah. shit hurt when y'all be breaking them down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I you notice them fighting shows, like the baddie shows and stuff, yeah, they never be having me. nails on. It's because they yeah. stay fighting. Mm, okay, what's your husband too? I'm actually going to do a show, but I'm going to be the host and not a cast member. Ooh, period say that <laughs> we gonna be tuned in <laughs> but mine is more of a household one like cause I have this issue like you know your trash can and stuff like mm. if you you put some lemons down there or some essential oil like in there before I'm you put a bag in there oh, okay, like okay. when you clean it and you know stuff like that and then I also noticed like my mama garbage disposal like that stuff be stinking so you can put some lemons oh, and lime. ice and baking soda my mama put me onto that you know that shit will clean your whole you know what disposal I got from that? you huh? need a man why are you taking out your own trash why you did that to me? You know what I'm sad about that. You know I hate taking the trash out. Yeah, I don't have man. Like, why I don't have taking the trash? Yeah, I and yeah, it. Take this with you when you go. You can put fabric, <laughs> softener sheets in your dance bag. Mm. Oh, that was smart. I like that one. I'm keeping my dance bag. And mm-hmm. hey, you all oh, your bag smell good. Stop boiling all that fabuloso. Got a nigga getting headaches and shit when you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a man, but when I do have men visit, fabuloso I purposely I smell good. I put that trash bag by the door. And you just got to see that character. Sometimes they walk that, out, they going to take Sometimes that shit just stink. And they can yeah. be like, let me, let me take care of them. Bro. Yeah, let me take care of them. It's a little crazy in here. Yeah, yeah damn. <laughs> it is sad taking your own trash out as a woman. But why have you been taking it out? Because I ain't got no man. What am I supposed to do? Call somebody like, oh, come take it. You, you should have called a nigga who said he would have came um, if your car was yeah. down. Or the other nigga you just saw. <laughs> Y'all funny. Okay, wrap it up. This is thank, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop for you. Losers. <laughs> All right, All but we just want to thank you for um stopping through. Um I mean we're gonna thank put you. I'm pretty sure everybody know your social media, but if you wanna shout it out. Miss Diamond Duval. I got a lot of pages, but my main page is Miss Diamond Duval with a Z, all one word. The bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. If y'all want to book me, you can email me. You know, I do some of everything. Podcast interview, radio interviews, whatever it is. Ask me anything. Ain't nothing off limits. Acting, uh, whatever it is. Hosting, entertainment. Yeah, hit me up. <laughs> Wait, good question. Are we the first interview post-fight? Yeah. 
Ooh, Y'all heard it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first interview. It's in <laughs> yeah. And um, shout out to my baby, Naya B, Mama Baby, oh, doing oh, hair. If y'all need y'all hair slay, she slays, okay? Yeah. Up. She yeah. slays at 15 years old. Ooh, y'all get like into that. it. She's like doing that. $55 this week. So y'all gonna get y'all hair done for Memorial Week. Yeah. My baby doing her thing at 15. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. we fought with that. Well, we really appreciate you coming. It's been I, it's one of my favorite episodes. This is really I fought good. With this. Thank yeah, you. Your thank energy you. Was amazing. So thank you. We're gonna... What about the little dance thing? My baby like dance. Her oh, baby won. <laughs> you cannot train her. <laughs> yeah, most dancers start at four or five. <laughs> <laughs> now her baby, her baby is funny. Though. Her baby this little. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah. Awesome. We, we're going to go ahead and sign out. So we appreciate you coming. So Thank you it's your boy, Low Key V. It's your main man, K Thrizzle. And it's me, Mocha Banks. You're going to do the clap with us? Yes. And this is Pay the Bass. Hey. 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 I don't do the Pay the Bass. Get money and wash your ass out.